Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Don't ask. Uh, before we get to our episode tonight, we do have some announcements to make, uh, including uh, our uh, new sponsor, Sam. Uh, we have a new sponsor, if I recall correctly, that and they uh, they actually make these really amazing. Maps. They make maps. Our sponsor has an incredible Patreon page. Oh. Offering subscribers access to more than 4,000 beautiful, oh, sorry, hand drawn maps. Show one of the maps over there, Tra Travis. Really cool. With more oh, being added go. every week. Oh. Yeah, oh, look, look at these amazing maps. They're so spider. beautiful. Actually, really gorgeous. Maps. Yes. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to know the name of the site? Yeah. Please. The name of the site is called Chepeku. <laughs> <laughs> Each map pack includes up to 10 variants, including time of day, weather, and magical effects. Grab fantasy battle maps for Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, and any other fantasy TTRPG to take your game sessions to the next level. Whether you're running a classic dungeon crawl, or something offbeat like a cobalt, brew a cobalt brewery, or a giant elder brain skull, with Chapaku. <laughs> the maps will have the imagination to match yours. What's happening? Why are, you, why are you two dancing? Oh, I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know we needed a reason to express our emotions through the power of dance. Why? No, no. It's it's just that whenever you say the name of the sponsor, uh, Chapaku. <laughs> Whenever we say it, blazing hot music plays. Yeah, Matt, that's because the sponsor has a bumpin' name that gets the booties dropping, and the homies popping. But that's not all they have. Their archive is bursting with more than four thousand battle maps and variations like these. Look at this. Oh, that's where we were supposed oh, to hold them up. Twice as good. And if you okay, put them down. And if you subscribe to their Patreon at the five dollar Master Cartographer membership tier, you can get access to the whole lot. That, that legitimately it does sound it does, amazing. Actually. I just I don't really understand the dancing thing. Did they ask you specifically for that? Uh, who, Matt? The sponsor. Why won't you say their name, Matt? I I. I, I I can't, I just Say I just it, bitch! <laughs> Fine. Chapaku! Chapaku. Chapaku. Chapaku works seamlessly on most popular virtual tabletops, including Alchemy RPG, Roll20, and Counter Plus, Foundry VTT, Fantasy Grounds, and more. All the maps are also available with walls and lighting presets for Foundry VTT, <laughs> letting you jump straight into the action and level up to the $10 tier for dynamic animated maps, animated maps, that set the scene for campaign defining encounters. Head over to Patreon, choose your membership level, and get your adventures started. Go to www. Shapeaku.com <laughs> slash critical role. Matt, back to you. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Shapeaku. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, There's great. No that way. was awesome. Just <laughs> 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 oh, 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 my God. Wow, great work. Why, great. Oh, no. Why do you do this to us? Every I'm week. So sweaty right now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, th thank you, Jay Baku, for sponsoring that insanity. Um, uh, Laura, you got some announcements? Did you not? Did you not? Oh, almost as impressive as. It is. <laughs> what is our it? Luxon Beacon Oversized D20. What? 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 We're doing this. Um, it's available in the US, the UK, and the EU. It's our third Everything Dice collab. Oh. Yay. And this one, you guys, they put so much stuff in these boxes. It's is so it available at Ruidus? This is It contains, I don't know if you can see it, it is this it contains a liquid core. It's sparkling, it's beautiful, it's hand painted. I watched my language. It's hand painted! There's beautiful gold hand painting on there, and this beautiful art on the boxes by Anna Z. 
I'm just oh, yeah, so yeah, in that, love with that's it. That's really cool. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look too close. You might see too many possibilities. You might get lucky. There's stuff on the inside of the inside. That's what I'm yeah. talking Not about. Not the liquid core. There's like a print. That's what's hand painted. Well, you didn't <laughs> care. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. I know. Perfect. It's pretty great. Anyway, check it out. It's in the store. Send it around. Send it around, motherfucker. That's awesome. Thank you, Laura. Stop bogarting the die. Marisha. Ah, uh, we just announced a brand new uh, chapter of Candela Obscura, The Circle of the Crimson Mirror. Oh, yeah. Premiering next week on Thursday, February 29th. You can check out the trailer right now to get a taste of the three episode arc created by the incredible cast and game master, Liam O'Brien. Oh, along with Atalus and Jeff. Oh, yeah. Amy Carrero. Oh. Alex Ward, oh, yeah. Yeah. himself, and Imari Williams. Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. Join us next week as the Circle of the Crimson Mirror teeter on the edge of survival as their present collides with the threats of the forgotten past. Damn. Hell yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Marisha. Nice. Liam, you're up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys! The Tales of Alexandria 2 or Tagen has just released its second issue in this four issue arc. I accidentally wore this hoodie today. So, pick up the new issue of this Traveler Focus story at your friendly local comic shop. Ha ha ha. I don't know what you became at the end there, but that was great. It's a Muppet. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> it doesn't just like me. You even have my mug. It's like really single white female. Oh my god! It's like who's the twin, right? Single blue female. There you go. Hurry uh, up! I'm sweating my ass off. Yeah, it's so hot. we're coming it's to Seattle. Really You're here. sweating your ass off. Yeah. Okay, I'll make it quick. We're <laughs> coming to nope. Seattle for Emerald City Comic Con. <laughs> Join us March 2nd and March 3rd for a panel, photo ops, and more. You can find out all the details at critroll.com slash events. So hopefully see you guys there. Uh, and I believe that concludes our announcements. So let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Where Are We? Jump and go! Critical Row. <laughs> Till we reach the top, two by two we fall. Will we meet our friend or meet our destiny? Hold your breath and roll. How do you want to do this? It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our life. There is magic and mystery. Who knows what will happen? He might. We never give up on the fight From the healer to the renegade We all share the same goal Adding more allies, taking more chances Hold your breath and roll You certainly try It's Thursday night All ye critters, come join us It's time to continue our play From darkness our friendship will rise But one thing's for sure We never give up on the fight Oh, get ready It's Thursday and welcome back. So, last we left off, Bell's Hells, after arriving on the Red Moon Ruidus, trekked into one of the villages on the outside of the central capital city of Kraviris, encountered some of the locals, made some friends, ran into some enemies, uh, took some out, took some captive, and then in the process of looking for a means of continued travel uh, towards the city of your destination, uh, some of you ran into Odahan Thul, who has been seemingly progressively on the trail of you since your arrival. <clears throat> Through a brief bit of a chaotic scuffle and an escape, you all whisked yourselves away into the sky and facing an oncoming storm sought shelter a little ways northward, or what would be considered north-esque from this small astral body. 
upon diving into a nearby chasm, delving into its depths and finding some odd water network, caverns, and continuing to follow this strange source of water, you trekked through these winding tunnels, found uh, a high, splashing waterfall, climbed to the top, and found ancient ruins emerging from inside this kind of rock-clustered cavern, seemingly from times long forgotten. As you trekked through these ruins and began to look for a way of getting back to the surface or finding a safe space to rest at the very least, uh, you found some unique elements kind of lost to time forever, locked in this kind of moment before Cataclysm, and then found the source of this burbling river of water that was carving from the rock. Uh, out of curiosity, Fern transformed into some multitude combination of various water creatures. Whoa. Sheep leaf sea slug. Sheep leaf sea slug. It That's just right. had the function of a salmon. But it, it's I get all, yeah, it just looks like <clears throat> that, but it functions like a salmon. Great, thank you for clarifying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's like salmon Spider-Man. with a new Street Fighter skin. <clears throat> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, two player color. <laughs> yeah. um, upon pushing through the forceful water, you eventually found yourself in a less cramped space, in a less uh, constantly pressured coursing water. Clambering upward towards a light source, you breached into what seemed to be an unfamiliar lake beneath a blue and cloud doppled sky. Um, Beautiful kind of cold air surrounding forests and mountain tops with kind of white snow dusting across their peaks. And that was where you left off. So, Fern, as you've emerged into this space, what do you do? Wow. All right, let me let me turn around and see what's what's behind me. Is that how a salmon swims? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna but act these are these active. are my these are my my leaves, oh, yeah. flu- like fluttering around. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Like a ball uh, Make a perception check. Okay. Like, can I can I turn around and then like? Stick my head under the water to make sure that the portal's still there. Oh, good, good call. I'll make a perception check to glance okay. for the portal. What you assume to be a portal. Oh, oh, oh. natural twenty. Oh. Natural oh. twenty. Okay. <laughs> Glancing beneath the surface, you. So that would be a twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Okay. There is no like visible portal from the surface. Uh, as you delve down into the kind of dissipating light, the dark depths of this surprisingly deep lake. Um, it's it's kind of a fairly robust depth to it. And as you continue downward, you begin to feel the water tugging in a direction ever so faintly. And that tells you where perhaps this transition is occurring. Down towards the, the deep, cold, kind of black, mucky bottom of this lake, you can see there are these tangles of various uh, underwater plants that have kind of overgrown and built this space, this kind of shadowed cluster, almost like a underwater bramble forest that Those rests nice. across the bottom. Um, you <laughs> feel the water tugging more and more powerful. And you can see one section about five feet above where some of this twisted, gathered, kind of silt-covered uh, plant expanse is, you can see where the water is kind of slightly Manipulated to the point where the visuals shift into a twist. All right, I'm gonna head for that to try to go back through the portal. Okay. You catch up to it, and like setting yourself into a massive river current, you feel the water pulling you forward. You rock it towards it and immediately come through into the dark <gasps> underground and then emerge out of the side of the cavern entrance. The rest of you watch as Fern just kind of onto the rock next to you. Okay. Step up. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> in in so, fish form or in fern form? We can still hear. Her uh, her. So oh, okay. okay. So, so she's just like she's just, I'm, gonna gonna say, right. I'm gonna say. But she's it. a slug. She's yeah, but not a slug. salmon. All right. So, um, it's a portal. It's legit a portal. Where to? Where? So it it looks like a lake. I can't really tell, but I think I, I didn't want to stay out there just in case. I, I think maybe someone should come. Uh, something, yeah. Yes. So maybe somebody should should come. We should figure b- b- out where bring, it is. Um, a lake on the bring moon? a rope. I don't know. Uh, there's there's, there's, seem like the there's a forest. There's a lake. There's 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 snow capped. Did it look mountains? Red? Shit! I didn't even like 
look Check at the sky. I think you see examples. I think slugs don't, don't, don't see color. It was cloudy. It was really cloudy. It was really cloudy. Got it, got it, got it. Well, does that doesn't sound like the moon. I really, it doesn't sound like, it didn't feel like it. I really want to want to go there and check this out. We haven't I also want to sleep for eight hours before we do it, so. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Man, I'm so tired. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I'm very tired. I know, we got, I know we got fart form for only a little bit longer, but man, if we go into <laughs> the warp world. I'm so I mean, tired that if you fight. disagree and we get into a fist fight, you might win. Well, Do you want to, is, this, is this a challenge? No, I mean, I'm not the time. time. Oh, we, have some, we have some of those berries we can eat. I've eaten all my berries. They were really good. Berries, yeah. Y'all eat your berries? <laughs> well, I, I, ate too much. I could go Wait, back. No, I, I could, didn't. That's right. I didn't eat my berries. That's Did right. Did you see anybody? Five berries eat? each. Fern, was there anybody? We could, we could send. No, just I the, could. I could go back. I just wanted to make sure I could get back to you. We could guys. send just the few of us. Who are healthy and yeah, well rested? Not too bad. And if something bad happens over there, well, you can right. just and you can cast a spell. Uh, you've got a spell to cast. Right? I, uh, yeah, I can spare the dying. Yeah, but how do we know if there's a problem back here? Can I? Two, I, two tugs on the rope. Why don't I give Fern my immovable rod? <laughs> What? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'm a bee boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bee boy. <laughs> Where's my hard boy there? <laughs> Throw down some cardboard. <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you, all, you all fucking scarred me. I'm trying to be sensible here. It's just a new attempt, throwing it out there. If y'all want to be stupid and crazy, I'm happy to. It's my favorite place to roll. Fair point, Ash. I mean, we are safe in this pocket. Yeah. Because that way, if something goes wrong, which considering everything that's happened over the last twelve hours, how the fuck long have we been here? Uh, you've been here about a little under six hours. <clears throat> so in six hours, we've had what is on average three weeks of our own bullshit. So maybe there's another week of bullshit on the other side of this portal just waiting for us. That's really That's quite reasonable, Bastion. Yeah. yeah. I cannot if, believe I'm the voice of reason here. This, this is could, really good. So gross. wait, we're gonna sleep before we go through? I think we should sleep before we go through. Oh, this could be huge. If this is, if this is a portal huge. to Exandria, this could be our, our back door. But, counterpoint. Counterpoint. If a couple of us go through, mm -hmm. just to see, just to see, we can actually turn into mist and see where we are in the world, as opposed oh, to just going through. That's fair. It's also a good point. shit. That's actually very true. I'm <clears throat> doing okay. Remarkably okay. I'm I'm all Me right too. on health. I'm just I have a couple major spells I think in me still. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't been touched. Oh, really? I'm yeah, I'm, touched. I'm okay on health. I've got a little bit of something, but I'm not. At, I can I can pass on. I'm I'm so full of magic right now. I could pass some on to you. We could. Gross. We could funnel. <laughs> That's right. They could funnel. We could ruin his funnel. Well, yeah. By what method do you do that? Um, I don't know yet. We'll see how it happens. But I imagine it's yeah. through the mouth. <laughs> oh. Mouth to mouth or. Probably. Mouth to ass. Mouth, mouth to ass. ass. <laughs> like, yeah, like centipede. Centipede style. Yeah. <laughs> Skin like a sea slug. <laughs> mm. Um. <laughs> Explain, explains the uh, plumage. She's um, <laughs> slung. <laughs> Y'all had some days, like, it, yeah. some fucking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's it's weird, weird. Y'all. A compromised okay. version is sending, <laughs> like, me or someone My through son, a fern, so. firing up, getting a good look around, and then coming back, and then resting in here. Yeah. What happens well, if we turn I'm into a cloud? Have a small, a small contingency of a, a few of us going. Yes, with the, the party. Yes. Hundred percent. That always goes well. How big was the pipe? Oh, oh strange voice in the sky. Six feet across. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. It's it's about a, a fairly rushing like three three feet wide or so, like three to two and a half feet wide oh. altogether. So like the water's coming out forcefully, and then it ends up kind of right. spreading out into the actual. Right. in order to get a decent, decent and strength. pretty small person. Sluggy, also. how far did you have to swim forward <laughs> to get? Not far side. at all. I mean, it's you have to go down to get to this portal, but you go up and you're there. I mean, I didn't have any trouble at all. <laughs> it's it's up, you're, you're up a, a pea stream, a right? A little, a little bit, yeah. Like, like the where it really emerges high. from the rock and kind of trickles out into the actual river. You have to go into where it enter, where it exits, and then push against the stream at a slight angle. 
Okay. Let's make a bold decision. What are we doing? I think it's or or Orem or or and Fern, at yeah. least, and maybe no, Chet, because Chet's small. You are small. And untouched. And untouched. Can All you right. swim? Good as well. Fuck yeah. I will eat my berries, just to give me another top can off. Float. Oh, you're gonna uh, go well, to you Yeah. I know, I wanna go too, it's killing like me. But a lot of my spells left, because Warlock. What if it's the other side of the moon? Yeah. What's the colors of the sky on Ruidus? I can't remember. Red? Oh, the sky above, since you've been here, the atmosphere, it's just kind of a black and star dappled expanse above. So it's. And on the, the like, like at the very, very top. And then as you look towards the horizon, it becomes this kind of faint pinkish purple coloration that fades to red as it hits the edges of the mountain ranges. Oxygen. This is above the table, the oxygen trapped under a magical barrier. I think so. Yeah. Probably. Cool. <sighs> Okay, below the table. <laughs> I mean, I'll admit I want to go too, but I think the idea of sending everybody is a bad idea. Yes, especially I'll if stay people behind. are tired. Um, I really want to go. I really, I really want to go too. How about this? What if we, we all stay go? behind, and then like five minutes after we they go. go, we go. Well, here's <laughs> another question, Fern. How hard was it to swim back? Was it I mean, super easy? I didn't have any problems. <laughs> so I'm pretty should, sure. Because uh, we can uh, affix the magical. Rod and have a rope that goes through oh, yeah, so go that through. we can. So maybe I can That's give you the idea. rod and you can still. Debs have last counterpoint. Yeah. So, counter counterpoint? Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. We, we would be taking a long rest on that side that we don't know is safe or secured or what danger, dangers lay beyond. We could do it here and it's just us. Right, this is the hot pot. Yeah. Yes. No, I'm not saying to sleep over there. I'm saying. Go over, well, check it out while we're misty for him, come back, come sleep in. here. You're assuming we come back. Yeah. That's the point I'm talking about. But that's I not a that. counterpoint, that was the first point. I'm saying we shouldn't go cloud At form. All. We should rest and then go and fuck the cloud form. Well, that seems like making decisions out of fear. We need to be making decisions out of confidence. We're on the moon. This is our only shot. Letters has an earring now. They are FCG. very confident. Wow. Where, did you, where did you even great. find that? I found like this divot right. thing, and I I drilled a hole in my in my head. Head. <laughs> I don't have ears. I feel called out, and I I am going to agree with you just out of guilt <laughs> <laughs> and shame. <laughs> I think. I think I'm learning this therapy thing. Yes. Wow. You right. can shame I'm your <laughs> manipulated and yeah, totally on board. You can shame and manipulate your right. patients. Well, that's <laughs> kind of proud. Then let's all go through. We'll turn into clouds and we'll just fly up in there, see what's going on, and come back. Okay. Well, why don't we still affix a rope? Is there a place to tie a rope off over here? On this side? Wouldn't no. it just go through yeah, the water stream? Yeah, we just come on out. Well, we fix a rope well, no, on this the, side and then we, and then we affix, the, the, fix it on, on the immovable side. rod on that side. That part so I know, but it doesn't need to fix here. It just, just needs to go through. That's and true. And then I wonder if we could put something flashy on it so it's easy to find in the lake if we ever have to leave and go off somewhere. But what if that? somebody else came and saw it? There's nobody else here. Who's going to look on the bottom of a lake for a toilet I flush? I got a chisel. It kind of works as like a... Like a spinner. We have toilets on the table. Yeah. Yeah. I just blacked out. I'll put a hook on it just in case. I mean, <laughs> might as well eat while we're here. Dude, is there something we can put Underwater outside of it? Entities. It's not obvious. Ancient, ancient yeah. demons. Okay, what's going, going on? We're like, just going. Let's fucking wait. But first, I want to get a spell. Store? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can we do this before yes. we go? Yes. How do I? Oh, how do okay. I? Get, how do, do I give it to you? <laughs> well, that's become a thing. <laughs> oh god. What spell are you doing? I'm gonna pass. We're gonna, gonna connect ruidously. Oh, okay. Oh. So you're you're uh, giving your spell slots over to. Wait, what if that alerts somebody? No, it's not gonna alert anybody. But what if it does? Why would We're it? about to leave dimension. Why would the great? That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Heavenly Father above give me this power if it wasn't. If it can't be used. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down. Try to I think connect. He's okay. <laughs> he's across. I'm gonna try to find my red. To our left. <laughs> Do you need any thread? Oh, you're still a fish. Do you need any like romantic music to make this happen, or are you just? I think gonna... we just need to focus. I think we need to focus and really pay it. attention to our personal bloody bridge. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very much so. Yeah. Connected. They're sinking up. They're sinking. sinking. Uh, we have been sunk up. Let's be, be real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. We're sure. traveling. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the the minute that you 
think about the the siphoning of someone's energy, and uh, you kind of willfully uh, kind of release the tether to the magic that you currently you usually hold on to rapidly. It just you feel that kind of immediate <laughs> siphon into you, and you restore the appropriate amount of sorcery points based on the spell slot that she oh shit gives up. So, what spell slot did you give up? Fourth. <clears throat> okay. Nine. <laughs> yeah. All of them. I just gave them all. Oh, <laughs> give it to me. <clears throat> okay. So you gain an equal amount of uh, sorcery points as you would if you had converted your own fourth uh, level slot. Ma, sang. Well done, How'd that well feel? Are you all right? Mm. Yeah, I feel great. I feel great. It didn't feel like. No, it didn't feel like I'm. I'm. It didn't feel like anything. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there was just a little. Zzz, like, and then that was it. Ever so little faintly thing. winded, if anything. But I that's. I feel about a little it. tired, actually. <laughs> 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 Sleepy, little like worn sluggish. out. But it's okay. A little sluggish. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, you're a teeny slug. Okay. I just siphoned energy from a teeny slug. <laughs> it's okay. Have a good bear nibble. Okay. Okay. Half a hit point. Okay. Is there a place to affix the rope on this side, just so it doesn't get sucked away? Um, I'm gonna give myself a fourth level back. Okay. Glancing around, I mean, there there aren't any like. Branches or anything to that degree. At that, that point, you could maybe tie it to around a rock and leave a rock off to the side, Todd, off the edge of the water. But there aren't a lot of like outcroppings that would be good for that given these surroundings. Like a lot of the rock around here, at least beneath the water as well, has been smoothed with mineral and you know, uh, heavy water. So, okay, I gave myself a, a fifth left back. I like. Okay. I can I can offer if we I cannot believe I'm about to say this. Oh, what is wrong with me? You're gonna leave your hammer. No, we can leave the immovable rod here and then we can bring my hammer to the other side and tie it off to my hammer. In, Why the, we don't need to leave the What about we have nowhere to tie Titans, Pittons, Piton? Yeah, Does anyone pits. have Chet, do you have any kind of tools that we could dig into the rocks? Survivors kids. We do Why do we need just so it doesn't, the rope doesn't yeah. get sucked away. I don't know side. that we need it, but it couldn't hurt to do it. Yeah, okay. yeah I do. All right, we'll put a easy enough to hammer. Wood mallet. Yeah. Into the rock, you, there you go. I've got some rope. You want to go for like a hundred feet? We'll yeah. See. I give the Im I uh, tie the rope onto the immovable rod, hand the immovable rod to, to the, the salmon slug. I'll grab it with a couple <laughs> leaves. <laughs> Ready? Uh, Maybe Orem gets in front of you so Orem can hold on to the rod. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Are Why? You, wait, what form are you right now? I'm a sleeve. I'm a you can't just... carry an arcane rod Watch me. as a slug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you go. seen a fucking big salmon arm? Yeah. Go ahead and make a Is strength check. Is she the size check. of a salmon or the size, oh. of, the size of, <laughs> of a slug? I was thinking the size of a slug. I was, in, I was picturing with, the size of a the salmon, salmon, but, but looking like, like a slug. I hate the <laughs> Are you able to turn back into your tall self, then back of into the Of course, but I don't want to. Because that could hide the rod inside of you. Here, you know what? Maybe, maybe you should take the rod, okay. and then I will go. But you'll lead the way. But you'll, I will lead the way. All right. I'll just sit on your shoulder, and kind of pull you forward. You're gonna. I don't this understand the physics plan. of it, but I'm trusting in my great. friend. Just, just, perfect. Perfect. just let it perfect. happen. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll go a little bit in front, but you take the rod. All right, I'd like you okay. both to make strength checks for me, please. Oh, you got this. Race this. the chaos. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone guidance me. Guidance! I'm asking for guidance. it. Guidance! I'm, I'll guide you. You can't guide in that yeah. form, I assume. You cannot cast guidance <laughs> while you're in okay. form. You can say guidance, though. Yes, you can. Oh. Hey! Yeah. Okay, it's all Actually, right. no, it's going to be okay. Can you? <laughs> that guidance room. Mentally. Guidance. You yeah. think it. All right, so what do we got? So. <laughs> Sorry. I rolled a two. Oh. Yeah. But the good news is I got a four on the d4, hey. so it's a six. Okay. Well, uh, uh, no, it's a 10. Oh. Ooh. It's a 10. It's a 10 total. Because I forgot that I actually have modifiers stronger. on my sheet. Okay. All right. Look at I have 15. Okay. This is athletics? Yeah. Strength. Wait, did you oh, say I athletics it's a strength or strength? Check. If it's no just strength, <laughs> then it's. That's not saves, so strength, then it's four. There are six, then it is six. Okay. Not so athletics. It, Could it be athletics? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sure. It's swimming. No, and well, <laughs> it, it comes to the same point that it takes you a while to get there. 
the two of you together, it's it's a lengthier journey than your first endeavor out there. What was a you know a, a five minute press against the water becomes a 30, 40 minute like grabbing a hand, holding the hand, hang on for a second, losing your grip and having to catch yourself again, pushing against the water as it's forcing yourself back, climbing and climbing. Uh, you know the, the path in front of you, but you do not, and to, for a certain point, you begin to wonder, is this a joke, or is this something that we missed? Like, what, am I in danger? Uh, you need to like keep coming back for air. Oh, because you know you still have, so you still have air, but no, you don't. Yeah. So yeah, you can just keep in this force pulling forward, but it takes you a while to finally get through, and then eventually your hand reaches up and catches it around the side of a, of a lip, almost. And as you pull, it's not like a, like a hard rock, it's like a weird... Softer. <laughs> Hurry. You start drowning. No. Um, uh, you, it, it feels slight, like there's a, a, a branch or something on the side. And just enough to pull yourself forward. And as you do, you emerge from the center of this cavern and into the bottom of the lake that Fern had described to you. I've never been anywhere like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go out of the hole and make sure, it's float and make sure everybody gets through. <clears throat> okay. Well, the two of you get through. Okay. Is anybody else following? Oh, yeah. Oh, all of us, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going. So well, you, we, I want to give them a minute the to rod. see if they can click the yeah. rod. I've started to walk away and find my fortune elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Chutney you know, doing that, though. I'm yeah. Yeah. Just one Time day. is precious. Yeah. I don't have much to uh, Fuck these guys. <laughs> Just heads back into the room. <laughs> Mind argument with a slug. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So able to fix the rod there, and you can feel like the water pulling you back in as you emerge from it. Uh, you kind of swim around, clicking it in place, pull back into the water, and you can feel it. Cut. You're having to like push against the force that's pulling you towards the entrance. You can see the rope kind of get pulled into it, taut and straight. The rest of you. This is the probably the same extended rope that you used for the waterfall, correct? Um, which would be, you still have about 20 feet of slack come through out the water, and you can see it like flickering in the stream as it's marking its way out of the rock. Um, but you all slowly begin to pull your way through the cavern. Um, it is intense, and it's dark, for those of you who can't see it. Oh, it's... I put the lights in front. Okay, that helps you. Yeah, well, there's three of them. <laughs> I will also cast light. It's one of the few spells I can still cast. So there you go. Yeah. So, I so, have dark vision. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> the glass is really. really yeah. I have dark vision. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so the the arduous journey eventually leads you to the bottom of the lake, where all of you, as a troop, begin to emerge and pull away from the ex intense draw of this small portal that you had emerged from. Now, all someone in this kind of lightless expanse, and begin to clamber up to the surface, where you break. <gasps> We should be quiet, though. Oh, we're in our brains. We, we should, should be quiet, quietly. though. We should think super quiet. How quietly. far to uh, a shoreline? Uh, from where you stand here, probably a few hundred feet. Okay, I'm going to drop my wild shape. You said lightless, as in there's no celestial bodies in the sky? Uh, so the bottom of the lake has very little light, and then as you swim up, there's a little more to it. You oh, get okay. up there, and you can see like there's those gray clouds, and there's a little bit of like dark blue sky peeking through. It has that kind of... <laughs> Almost uh, like that—the moment in twilight where the sky is brighter than it is in the darkest points of the evening. I you were twilight, Me? A movie. Yeah. No, 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 no. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, but you can kind of see like the the little bit of that 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 twilight, like cathacast light that hits the bit of the snow that comes across the mountain range that surrounds you, and kind of make out the textures of the forests, uh, and you can kind of. Uh, it's it's one of those beautifully bold moonlit nights where the the atmosphere around you is is very well detailed. Once you take a moment to kind of let the light in and adjust, but you've been underground for quite some time, so you're already pretty well adjusted to a mm. lack of light. Can we, we see? Okay. I was gonna say Katha. Yeah. Katha's in the sky. Uh, Katha is in the sky. <gasps> well, is Ruidus in oh, the sky? Oh, that's true. How about Alexandria <laughs> or Ruidus? Maybe we're on the other side of Alexandria. Do we, we see Ruidus at all? We couldn't uh, see Katha when we were on Ruidus. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on the dark side. Go ahead and make perception check. Everybody? Everybody who's looking up there. Everybody! Yeah. 30 yeah. balls. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. balls. <laughs> 30. Oh, fuck. 20. 
22. God damn. Okay. Wow. Eight carrots. Hey, I just, I just look at Orem <laughs> expectantly. <laughs> so, what you see? The carrots thing? What you yep. see? I eat carrots. <laughs> <laughs> they don't help your eyesight. They're good though. They are good. They are good. They don't really help your eyesight. No. Yeah. Beta carotene. There was there was too many carrots during World War II, and so the Europeans were like, "Fuck, what do we do with this?" And they were like, "If the carrot if council carrots, wants to advertise with us, though, we will say we'll whatever." Say, yeah, <laughs> eat, eat carrots because then you will <laughs> you will see like the pilots. Glasses. We'll turn uh, them orange though. You, you, you do not see any signs of ruinous <laughs> in the <laughs> sky <laughs> from where you currently are. The the you can family. see uh, the. Uh, the, the, the bright color of Katha kind of cascading down, and just like the hint beyond one of the clouds above that, the glow of uh, white as it kind of peaks beyond. If you can see the moon just kind of starting to shift beyond. There's no sign of ley lines. There's no sign of the of the bridge. There's no. Oh, with a thirty, you can definitely see the ley lines. Okay, so we're it's, we're home. This definitely has a feel of an Alexandrian oh. space. Do do we need to be on land somewhere to turn in a? Clouds, or can we do that floating in the middle of the lake? We might, um, you know. If we start to do it, though, we'll go comatose for a minute. And then we'll, and we'll probably sink and back. So we should probably. Well, we can breathe but we have water. water breathing. Sure, but, but what happens if you're a cloud underwater? Right, maybe we should you just, just go on to land. I think yeah. we would so bubble we up, but let's get to land. Yeah. <laughs> Follow me. Why mess with the signs of it? You know? <laughs> just making your way towards the curtain. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I'll lap you. Fuck! So Surprising. Every time. I know, he really just turns it out. Some of the carrots he sure do. Uh, you had sex with him. <clears throat> yeah, I did. Was it okay. good? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what? Was it also surprising? I mean, like. Well, yeah, because, you know, it was werewolf time. Right. right. It was great. You know, get yourself a monster sometimes and <laughs> give it a try. Oh, it was werewolf time. That actually tracks way better. Anyway. Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> we book up far in advance. Following Chetney's wake towards the nearest edge of this lake. Got a rudder. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Bring it in. Bro, 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 bro. Bring it in. Ten <laughs> percent uh, okay. of story, ninety no. percent innuendo. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a it's been a trend as of late. That's what she said. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right. Eventually, clambering onto the shore out of the lake, um, very like dark and muddy uh, edges of it. The the kind of silt layer is very thick, and your leg you can feel your boots kind of like <laughs> sinking into the uh, outside of the waters. I immediately come to the forest line itself, and it's it's beautiful and pristine. You can just faintly hear the sound of different owls and other uh, evening nocturnal birds just kind of occasionally hooting and calling to each other in the distance. We know those birds. We know those birds from home. Yeah, we're home. Do we, Do we recognize the, the trees? Is it a type that grows in a certain area? Make a nature check. Oh. I've got a theory because I'm yeah. going to start misting. I feel like you should check no, no, this out. No, 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 I was going to say, I'll, I'll uh, Don't assist, assist you. you. I should sure? assist you, if anything. Like, you know trees better than I do. Only in certain areas, but sure. Uh, 21. Okay. You rolled with an advantage, right? I did. Okay. Did you roll? I did not. Okay. Okay. So, uh, these are a type of pine, higher uh, altitude tree. Um, just the atmosphere here, it's, it's chilly once you emerge from the water and you can see there's like that kind of evening mist kind of over the, the lake that you couldn't quite see when you were in it as much. Um, but now as you get out of the water and look upon it, you can see there's just kind of this like low hanging mist that drifts through the, uh, from just above the water level. Um, looking around, this is probably a higher altitude, you know, richer oxygen. Deciduous trees. Mm. We're high up. <laughs> Do we, are there mountain ranges? I think we see snow-capped yeah. mountains. No, but like on Marquette that we know of? Oh yeah, what mountain ranges do we know? I mean, you know of a number of them. Uh, like this, none that you've been to. Uh, there's, in some parts of a Shenandoah have, you know, thick forested regions. Um, there's also, I mean, you know, you've, you've seen a number of forests, but nothing, nothing that, that Feels like this, hmm. not from your personal experiences, at least. Once, once I even the Talon Highlands, like you know, up towards where the 
the kind of most southern and highest peak tip of the the region. Not quite this kind of a topography or biome. And you said we cannot see Rudus in the bridge. You cannot see Rudus in the bridge from here. And once once I hit sixty seconds, I want to go straight up. Yeah. Okay. So have my wee man eyes and ears detected any kind of movement around us? Any any kind of threat? Make a perception check. Oh, that's important. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. That is a seventeen. A seventeen. Okay. Great. Uh, And that. Well, here, roll a disadvantage because it's in the middle of the night, even with the the moonlight that's here. Disadvantage, you say? Yes. Oh, that's mm. worse. Well, it'd be like a single roll for you since you have advantage. Uh, I'll take the first one of those I did, so it's 14. 14. You don't see anything shifting or moving around here beyond just like the mist hanging and the trees occasionally shifting with the occasional burst of breeze that kind of comes and presses gently through the region, but that's it. Okay. Cloud time. Yeah. Cloud time. <gasps> so heading up. It's been a minute. Okay. Is there any? Are there any immediate landmarks? Especially considering my first notion. I, is a. Are we on an island? And B. Does it look like the forests around Whitestone? Okay. Uh, as you finish transitioning into your mist form, <laughs> you all carry high up into the air, and looking down, you can see indeed this is kind of cradled in the middle of this massive, sprawling mountain range uh, with all manner of higher regions that are snow-dusted and other parts that kind of fall into dark shadow. Um, But from this high up, there's, you know, the texture all just becomes a sort of blanket of gray from uh, a certain height. You don't recognize the region here um, from sight. This does not appear to be the Alabaster Sierras, or any place near Whitestone, at least, from your personal experience. For all of you, this is definitely a, a location you're unfamiliar with. Is there maybe even a landmark that I've read about? Make a history check for me. Also, from this height, it's all land around us, right? We're not on an island? island. Not on an island, no. So, and not a cluster of islands like the Shattered Teeth? Fifteen. Fifteen. No. Fifteen? <sighs> Nothing quite coming to mind. I mean, once again, you don't have a very clear perception of you know, much detail beyond just this kind of dark, forested landscape. But from what we can see, it looks like only land. For now, and it's past a certain point, you start hitting the lower cloud cover, and it's Becomes almost impossible to get a full perspective, but the Game further away. Hasn't loaded yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're, so the, the draw distance is starting to get a little wonky. Um, no, no little lights and the no no tiny cabin yes. lights popping around. Any, any towns? Make a perception check. I'll I'll roll with. Actually, They're alive. Are we allowed to roll? Like, are we all allowed to kind of look around? Mm-hmm. So, sure. Tony? With disadvantage. I was going to say you, you, want, you have, you you have dark vision. You want advantage? Because I was instead of me, I was. It's one. So. Okay. That's better. So that was guidance. I'm gonna roll above a six, like, oh, I'll take mm-hmm. guidance. Oh shit. Okay, so. I'm, I'm sitting He's with her, me. yeah, I'm assisting. 21. What the fuck is that? You don't, in, in this region, you, you do not see any sort of like noticeable light source, but you do see from this height what looks to be structures built on the, kind of not quite the full opposite edge of the lake, but maybe like a third of the circumference away. And the lake itself has like a, god damn it. <laughs> oh, wow. I just what realized we're bad. <laughs> <laughs> that is really unfortunate. Really? Insane. Don't fight, <laughs> fight to hold on to this narrative you're tonight. You're doing it. Uh, <laughs> you're doing it. The, the lake shape has this kind of oblong, almost kind of kidney shape to it, and from where you recent, uh, initially took off into the air, it's about a third around, you can see there are a cluster of structures. It looks like a village. It's dark, but you can see the buildings present. Yeah, no, you're, you're right. That looks so like we a just thing. Kind of mm. yep. Head that direction, see yeah. if we can see something. Yeah, we, we absolutely have to yeah. know where we are. So. And how long do we have left of this? Uh... Like an hour and change. Okay. Okay. One to two. About two hours left of this. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's uh... a. Okay. Okay. Not a long day. No. Yeah. Yeah. Longest day. All right. Let's go to the structure. Okay. <laughs> Rapidly, you all coast down to this area, and as you kind of head above it, it is a, a modest village, probably of about. 
no more than 150 structures together. As you can see there are, are uh, four different small lake docks that kind of carry about uh, 20 or so feet out into the lake. Um, there's walkways and there's what looks to be just neighborhoods. Very, very simple. Uh, a lot of it built from uh, wood and logs taken from the surrounding forest. Um, but it is still, there's no like lights uh, lit up at the moment. It's just kind of like a quiet, sleepy silence. Do we see any people wandering about? Any late night mm -mm. stragglers? Not at the moment, no. Let's get in and take a good look. Yeah. It has little clouds. Yeah. Okay. Any peeking a couple windows? Windows open? Yeah. Are we going to be creepers? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As you all come down to street level here, we're going to bring this into a. Uh, oh. Since we're no longer in the cavern, we're coming down into the evening uh, portion of this area. You begin to coast through the streets, and you can see there are most many windows closed, some that are open, some doors that are partially ajar. No like warm hearths inside or hearths inside any of these buildings. Uh, it is just dark and still. Does it look abandoned? It's looking pretty abandoned, and a lot of it looks like it's been just falling to the elements. No, no light sources whatsoever. Mm -mm. On the structures, any kind of water wheels near the water or signs of industry or Riding agriculture? Any signs on buildings? Uh, like, welcome to blank population zero? Or <laughs> plague go away? Yeah. No, no plague signs. Um, you do see some uh, buildings that are labeled. Very simple, nothing like presentary, like major uh, cities. They're mainly just for function. You see uh, one that says fishmonger, uh, another that says uh, general supply. And it's written in common? common. Uh, it's written in common. Okay. Are there supplies in the general supply shop? Is, there, is it empty or is it still stocked? Just dusty. It's deeply dusty and still carries some supplies that are uh, long untouched. Are there any signs that the dust has been disturbed at all? Make an investigation check. Fuck. Also, I want to want to look and see if there's like any like job like post boards or, or guild or yes. or town hall or anything that looks more than like a store that would have records yeah. or writings. Yeah, hundred percent. Do they have a judicial branch and a legislative <laughs> branch? Yeah. Are they a three <laughs> two party well system? As ours. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Um, in this sir. 14 different avenues when this was checking. Yeah, no. <laughs> I can I can re rewind if you need so. No, uh, this was checking for um, supplies in the I was I was in the supplies. Also I want to I want to know if the if like the layer of dust has been um, disturbed or if there it looks like not long wild, accumulated. You can see like it 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 looks like it it looks very much like a village that was once thriving and just everyone's gone. And they didn't it seems like while they didn't leave immediately, they didn't necessarily pack crazily. There's just have, stuff there. Just, stuff just, there. Th just throwing it out there. What if we're in some sort of alternate dimension or some sort of like upside downy situation where or time travel y thing? Okay. The two of you that are searching for more of a, uh, a, a place of records, you know, a yes. hall of records, uh, both of you make investigation checks for me. I mean, the ley lines are up there. I was asking if there was like water oh, wheels or any signs them. of industry. Right. Like yes. Um, I sure could if I there had are, the ability to cast that spell as a cloud. Get, oh. There, Guided? there isn't a Guided. water wheel necessarily because there's no river that flows into here directly. It looks like a lot of this is just based in snow melt that comes down off the local mountains. There's like small brooks. Uh, there's actually numerous brooks that lead to this river, but there's no massive river with enough of a stream that would make a water wheel functional. Um, but you do, from an industry standpoint, you see there is a smaller, like modest lumber mill. You can see that there is um, like more, less for a, a commerce and trade and more for just local use. Um, you can see there are small, uh, the word escapes me. Um, there's no like massive farming land, but there are many gardens. Like almost every house has its own kept garden. Uh, but the gardens are n deeply overgrown and lush in a way that only gardens that have been left to the elements in a very moist and, and healthy place would just go for a while. 
Does it look like farming and vegetables and fruits that we know? From what you can tell, yeah. You see tomatoes, you see uh, all manner of, of cabbage and leafy greens, you see uh, strawberries and, and other fruits that basic but but just vibrant and like spilling off of each garden box and gathering and kind of scattered around. Everything look here it looks like it's been kind of left to nature. And you can see there's uh, you know elements of fungus that have kind of taken in the moisture and grown over parts of the wood. Um, some buildings have starting to fall in a little bit. You can see the roofs are starting to like f collapse a little bit. Um, holes left in the, uh, the structure. No animals. No birds. No woodland squirrels. You said we could hear birds. You can make a perception check if you'd like. For those who are investigating, would you roll? I rolled bad. Four. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. This village doesn't have like a, a, a massive record hall. It's it's you know. It, it feels, especially the space, isolated enough where uh, there's no massive central place there, but you do eventually find uh, some sort of a clerk's office um, containing books and records, and you find, within a quick scan, a lot of references to the town uh, Ryduin Village. Oh, what's that? What's that? Uh, R I A apostrophe D O I N. R I A apostrophe D I O or D O D O I N I N Ryduin yeah Ryduin 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 a lot of it talks about the uh, you know, the initial glance just keeping up with the local business uh, arguments between different families that are being settled old you know debts between various merchantile in the village and. You can see a lot of these are having to, they're written from the perspective of almost like a, like a burgomeister, somebody who's having to organize the locals and try and hold a semblance of small local law, um, or at least on the behalf of such an individual. Some of it's closed, some of it is still open to be assessed. Um, and you also, from looking at some of these, talking about the, the, uh, the different people that fish in this environment, they refer to this as Lake Umamu. Now, do either of those either from having read about them, or even just etymology and the kinds of words they are, help me remember where this might be in the world. Yeah, do, do either of us, does that ring a bell for either of us? You can make a history check, since you already made one to kind of point to this point, so I'm, I'm letting your knowledge and hers together on this one to kind of put together the details. Fuck this up, guys. Fuck this up for me. Don't cock this up for me. What? Do you see, give me advantage? <laughs> no, but the DC's lower because he's already looked at it. Ten. Ten. You, you're not you're not able to pinpoint any location, but the 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 fact that it's night here, or a semblance of night, if this is Exandrian, puts it in a similar path of the sun as to Ruidus was, which means it would be not too terribly far from you know a place in Marquette. As far as the, the position of where the moon was to the sun's light and where the light is on this region. Mm -hmm. The trees, it was, I'm trying to think, you were present. You were both present. So there is something about this. The more time you spend here, that the type of trees, it has a very Asilrin scent to it. Are there temples? Uh, not a single temple within this village. Cool. Is that pretty much all we can gather from the records, like from the Burgermeister? I mean, you can keep reading through them. A lot of them, a lot of it's just bookkeeping. I have. Um, if you want to roll an investigation check to look for anything else of interest, but Might yeah, as well. go for it. This will take a while, though. I want to. This is this is. Right? Can he help me? You are not, but based on the roll, this this may this might oh. take a little bit. What are we? Do? What's the investigating, investigating the records? I will. I can guide you if we're not clouds. <clears throat> I want to find the yeah, most, you can do, uh, the yeah. richest, most expensive-looking house in the whole. I want to. I want to just head towards whatever looks like the person with the most money, where the person with the most money in town lived. Okay, that's a good idea. I'm going to guide her. All right. Come on. Okay, mm. that's better. You said investigation. Yes. Okay, nineteen. Woo. Nineteen. Woo. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, as you're looking through the books, the rest of you are in the process of looking around. So we'll get back to you. It's going to take a little bit for you to do this research. Are you looking okay. through books right. as a cloud? No, I think no, we declouded. You declouded both of you. Can I throw one last side question for you? Sure. This is a curveball. I'm yeah. probably wrong. In all of my time listening to more important people, did they ever name the lake that the temple of the matron was sunk under? Uh, this is this lake does not does not correspond. Does not correspond. Okay. Damn. Good, good guess. Good, good, good guess. Um, good rock. Indeed. Interesting. No temple. Yeah, no temple here. Mm. Um, you glance around, and I mean, most of the buildings here are fairly modest. There is one abode that looks like it's probably worth the most. It's it's the largest of the homesteads. Um, the windows in this are broken. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, that's that's an interesting clue. I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna fly in there and look around before I before I corporeal. Your... I mean, if nobody's claimed this town in a long time, we could all just stop, live here. Yeah, sure. Call it a day. We yeah. probably we, left for a reason. We think we're in Marquette. We think. Well, uh, the it, at least we're on the same, the same hemisphere. Same, same hemisphere line. I don't yeah. plan it. Is there an outlet out of this lake, like a downstream river that's leading out of it? No. He said. So it's like a valley lake. Yeah. He said it reminds us of trees we saw in Isilera. Does a Silra, does a Silra, Silra and Marquette More line or less. up? They're, they're similar hemispheres. Yeah, they're. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I want to, I want to look around that house, see if it's been robbed, see if it's been. There are definitely signs of robbery. Okay. Yeah, you go so through and see. Uh, so a lot of the furniture's been untouched, and the same layer, of heavy layer of dust is there. Uh, as you go around, you can see shelves have been pulled out of desks. You can see upstairs a lot of the furniture has been tossed. Uh, the bed's been shifted out of position, um, but all the moved furniture is also heavily coated in dust, which leads you to believe that uh, this all transpired a while back. Yeah, you're uncertain how long. But it's so somebody had enough time, or there was enough commotion that somebody had enough time to hang back and then loot. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, are there pebbles or anything along the shoreline? Oh yeah, there's all manner of, of tiny little pebbles and uh, bits of uh, river stone that have washed down through this valley. Okay. Um, all right, go yeah, ahead. I'm gonna uh, demist and okay. grab a couple like pebbles from the shoreline. Okay. I'm gonna grab like if there's like a piece of wood I can break off of one of the buildings mm -hmm. just to grab a few items from the town. Okay. I'm gonna that look for, look for so paperwork or things that people wouldn't have stolen in the house or you know, like just. Yeah. Things to be able to thrown away, that because they're not worth money. Documents, letters, anything in that house. Um, anything. Interestingly enough, like the general store, some of the other buildings that you've seen seem to have been just kind of left at the moment. Mm. Uh, this house looks like it was cleaned out. Mm. Like it was packed away, or everything was taken from the interior. Have we seen any sense of bodies, bone, signs of a struggle in the street, tracks, claws, make deep them, cart grooves? Make an investigation check. Also, I'm still looking for like a bird or a squirrel. There are critters that have moved into parts of the buildings. You can uh, hear some of the owl sounds as they like fly into some of the... Uh, Maybe not a bird. <laughs> Squirrel. Or yeah, so some of the, the the overhangs of of the roofs. You can see there are like generational layers of nests that are now like bound up and spilling off. If the I can of get close enough within uh, earshot of a of a bird's nest, I'll cast speak with animals. Okay. And talk to one of them. Okay. I'm gonna drop my. Are we, are we all still clouds? We, no. Uh, we dropped. Some of I'm still a cloud. Okay. I, I'll, I, I dropped out of that, and it was a 15. Mm -hmm. And then when I drop, as I look, I'm also going to smell. Certainly. Um, no signs of any struggle or fight. There aren't even signs of any footprints. It looks like whatever happened happened long enough ago that rain and weather just over time has kind of scattered away any sign of foot traffic. 
uh, right in the main thorough. Uh, I'll if, try and find like a main street, and I'll uh, I want to use grim psychometry on like the street and try and yes. feel what happened maybe around here if there was something tragic that drove people out. Best ability. Okay, go ahead and make a roll for it. <laughs> Fuck. Ten. Ten? You try and connect to the space around you, but it's just cold mud on the ground. Man. Hey, Chet, you got a, you got a second? Always. Uh, I'm in the I'm in the fanciest looking house down at, at the uh, end of the city. Oh, oh yeah, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this little mess. <laughs> <laughs> The slider on the corner. Yep. <laughs> you've, got a, you've got a good eye for this. I'm looking like maybe a basement, secret passage. I don't know. This, this place has got a vibe. I could be wrong. I would take out two chisels, handles forward, and I start hitting along the wall, sounding for <laughs> hollow spots. <laughs> 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 the, the, Daddy, the tell me your oh, secrets. Gonna... Stop talking. Tell me what. <laughs> tell me what ails you. Oh. And all this would for hollow spots and switches. Okay, make an investigation check. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, you do a fairly extensive pass, and the only place where you find any sort of a, a hidden compartment is underneath the bed frame itself. Uh, on the right-hand side, there is a kind of false sliding compartment that opens into an open space that's already open and emptied. Ashton, we got something! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. That makes it more likely that this is just everybody packing up their shit and leaving voluntarily. Kinda. Shit. No, no smatterings of blood, no spit, no arterial spray. Not in here, no. Fuck. I guess last round is their cemetery in town. I don't know. It's the best I got left. Ladna, about this time, you uh -huh. start finding a thread of notes here in this kind of clerk space that begins talking about so a the worrying trend of business abandonment. People just upping and leaving without saying a word. You kind of follow that thread, and then other people start saying, no, it has to do with the disappearances. The disappearances. There was the, the Alvin child, then there was the whole uh, Claren family, then there was the Otis's, and people seemed that to have them happen in succession there must be some sort of rumor going around that's making people leave. But then another night, four families are gone. Whoa. And there's no one who saw them leave, and they just left everything behind. And the fishmonger, Gerald, just recalled seeing somebody walking out by the water and just walking into the lake. Shut up. But. That also could be Gerald trying to get people to look away from him, and so the investigation went into the fishmonger. Nothing came up, but the people at the town began to spread their own rumors. I think that perhaps he was going around and taking out competition. People that maybe had bad blood, and there had been a lot of odd, you know, small, small village politics happening between some of these folk. Uh, but then he disappeared. And that's where the notes end. Wow. They are coming. Uh, Do you think they all just got sucked into the portal? And got maybe, stuck on the moon? It's like maybe they were Twilight Zone episodes. This sounds bad. Maybe they were all. The moon's haunted? It's Alexandria's haunted. Rotus born types that some people went to Basarus on their pilgrimage. Maybe some people just went directly to the Zors. A whole village? The Zors. Maybe they didn't mean to. Yeah, but if they, they did, maybe they, did yeah, we they would have called. found some dead bodies, I think. I mean, and there's true. no other indication on what fucking continent we're on? I'm not I'm from gonna, inside a village. I'm gonna yell at the bird if I see a bird. Oh, yes. Hey, you! Hey, you! <laughs> don't, no, no. don't you look at me. Don't look at me like that. I mean you no harm. I got no quarrel with you. <laughs> what? What? You ever seen any? 
Don't you, don't you do that. <laughs> don't you. Oh. <laughs> Give me the key. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you stay back, you stay back. Like those guards. You called me. <laughs> Have you seen any other folks like us walking through here recently? Mm, no. There's these buildings, these houses and stuff. There are other towns near here. You must fly around with your your freaky wings. Do you get get around to see some other villages near here? Stay around here is where I grew up. Yeah, never <laughs> seen another village ever anywhere? No, this place is pretty alone, that's why I like it. When you were born, there was it was already empty? Mm-hmm. Birds don't live for yeah. Sorry, you're talking about bird. Good, I'm glad they don't. <laughs> You're trying to get information from him. Occasionally, some folks might come through, try and rummage through some things. Wait, what? What was that? What was that part? So occasionally, some oh, folks so, might so wander have, through and rummage so you, some things, but so then you, they go away. So you have seen some folks. Maybe. <laughs> Don't you look at me like that. It's probably in a Cypress tree. <laughs> <laughs> when they come through, when they come through, which way, which way do they walk? Into town from and out of town too. Like, is there a direction where they go to? I'm trying to figure out like where the next town is. It's been five years since they were last seen around here. I don't remember. Five years. Did you? Did you kill them? Maybe. Fucker. FCG. Sorry, I don't get stressed okay, out. I'm marking off a stress point. point. <laughs> Maybe, uh, ask him about the lake. No, the ask lake. him if there's anything in the oh, lake. Oh yeah, you, you see any? You see any shadows moving under the the surface of the lake? Any 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 creatures? Any monsters that come onto the sto- s- s- shoreline or? You no monsters. Freak? No, not since the people walk through, but they just kind of eventually go in, don't they? Have you ever seen any of those folks walk into the lake? They were gone before I got here. I don't recall folks that lived here before, but some of the ones that came through and began to fill their pockets, they eventually found themselves swimming. Oh, they did. And they never came out, did they? I don't remember seeing them leave now. Yeah. yeah. Just... Do you ever get an urge to go into the lake? No. Why is he so creepy? Yeah. Martin McDonough filled their pockets with rocks bird. and killed themselves yeah. in the lake? It's a haunted bird in a haunted house. He hasn't town. blinked. He hasn't blinked once. <laughs> My eyes are getting so dry. Just <laughs> 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 ah, what are you doing again? Like, I don't want to go down that road. Shoo! Get! <laughs> get! <laughs> That's like, thank you. I wanted to blink so bad. <laughs> Just takes off, leaving some feathers and scatters oh, in the air. Right like we that over, was really impressive. Over the garden. Was there wall a trail <laughs> or a road into the village that heads like into the forest aid forest at all? Make a perception check. <laughs> it's just me. Uh, Seventeen. <laughs> Seventeen. Um, you do see there are some pathways, some walkways that have now have been long overgrown. Uh, the forest has kind of taken them back, but you can see the uh, the underlying area where lumber you know, mill, oh yeah, carts and everything. All those all those signs are still present. They're just kind of hidden over the, or hidden under the overgrowth. Okay. You said there were carts. Well, there's like one, a bunch of trails that go into the forest, but there's like maybe one main area that's heavily overgrown where like the lumber mill was serviced or had yeah, export import stuff maybe, but it's overgrown overgrown. It's the lake, y'all. Why are people walking under the lake? I don't well, like it. You know what we need to do? Like sleep shit. and see who gets taken. Uh-huh. Should we should we sleep here? Uh, we sh- definitely should now. Yeah. Yeah. Right, just to see what happens. I think I'm mean, gonna wake up and two of us are gonna be gone. We all know that, right? Well, we can all hold up together. Fine. We'll take we'll take turns. That's kind yeah. of fun. <laughs> Plus, we gotta sleep to charge up the teleportation staff to let our peeps know where the back door is, right? We need to sleep to sleep. Well, that was the other thing that I was going to ask. If we were on Exandria, do you have any sending abilities? I, I haven't been able to do it on Exandria. Oh, right. But Fuck we can. Right. Um, we can teleport. I took a few stones and some wood, so, you know, if we can get these to. To Keyleth, then she can make sure these get to other people that can teleport, and they we can get more people to this 
to this city when we want to, you know, make our way. That's brilliant. That's a very good idea. Smart. It's a little premature to start making giant siege plans, but well, I mean, obviously, it, I, it's not feasible to fit giant armies through this portal, but maybe not? like an elite strike force. We can maybe. widen the portal. It's a thought. I might be able to. You don't have your circlet on, right? Uh, no. And you can open up your mind to like feel the mind traffic of the area around? Mm. And in a place like this, it should be pretty quiet, right? Mm -hmm. So if there was something in the water that had, I don't know, psychic Psychic. abilities, it might ping. Sure, if y'all back away from me. Uh, I wouldn't leave your side like that. Hey, hey. I'm gonna back it up. Get like 30 feet away from me. False ass wiener. Is it close to the moon? (laughs) Is it new moon time, is that why? (laughs) Okay. Just like to torment. Did you say those are think those? I'm gonna. Yes. Go towards the edge of the water Bing. and open my mind. Okay. You open your mind up and kind of feel outward, and you can sense all your friends in the nearby space. And the you're too close. Get further away. She, she made it. She noticed. <laughs> <laughs> she did I did. Damn it, for her. Scrub. Sorry, sorry. Nothing. Joke. Nothing. Zero. Not even that shit. Empty. Bird. This is great, y'all. There's nothing. There's well, nothing. Well, we can always come here at the end of all this and call it a day. Live in a horror movie. I, I don't mind. It's, I, think, I think it's very charming. Yeah. I see nothing but potential. Yeah. Do we want to either before we bunk down or in the morning kind of look for supplies here? We can bunk it's, down the supplies. It's shop. like the Toys R Us run, like, there's no limits. But it's kind of picked over, right? Well, yeah. Not entirely. Did you say there was like a, you found a secret passage or secret We, we found a secret drawer in the very, very, ex- well, I say very One. expensive, what the relatively expensive house uh, down the street, but it had already been Did you look with emptied. your thing? At the drawer that came out of the side of a bed? Yeah. No. What if there was something invisible in there? I felt around. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. He mostly caressed some wood I'm a, that was in cast, that uh, Inside, check. That's pretty high. 20. I didn't. Go check it! Nope. No, that would be a private <laughs> Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what if Can't there's an important in there that's invisible? What's the day? What do you think, should we take the Go nicest House in town, or? Oh, sure. Yes. One is also do, the do, least do, do, defensible. Do. It's already got the windows broken, but. I mean, yeah, we'll go there. That's the hard part. That way you can check the little drawer. All right, fine. I'll. <laughs> <laughs> He's just standing in place making sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty! <laughs> did you check it for buttons or anything? That he did. Sort of, kind of. I'm trying to help you here, Mother. Probably. Not you. No. Where are we betting for the evening? I'd say second floor if we're going to take the oh, expensive the place idea. and some and figure out a way of barricading the doors so that we Booby don't leave. the stairs. All right. Oh yeah, good idea. All right, let's go. <clears throat> okay. So heading into this abode, it has a, a second floor that is primarily just a, a bedroom and what looked to have been an office that has since been completely emptied out. Um, downstairs, you can see there's a, a small sitting area uh, that has like two couches. One of them's been tipped over onto its back. Um, this kind of a circular table between that. Um, a very, very modest kitchen. There isn't kind of a dining area per se. It looks like most food would be brought to this sitting arrangement. It's um, you know, respectable house, definitely, especially in comparison to the rest of the village. But you know, it's no Estras Manor. Um, but you know, you could find semi-comfortable sleeping on the various scattered couches if you write one up. The uh, the bed upstairs could fit comfortably two to three people before it starts getting crammed. And any sort of other bedding that you have, you can sit up on the floor where you'd like. But uh, you can find there are, there are oil lamps out there still with a little bit of residual oil in them. If you need any sort of night, night light arrangement, it's up to you. Um, but other than that, it is quiet beyond the sound of the various nocturnal creatures that are chirping and cawing in the distance. 
We should take turns. Yeah. I'll watch. Use the couches to barricade the doors and just sleep on them. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll take. What were you gonna say? I was gonna volunteer for first, but you. I was too, but whatever. You can take it. I'm gonna go to bed. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. You can do yeah. it together. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Two at a time is fine. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I need to sleep. Are you mad? Because Jed hasn't been pursuing you since you guys had sex. No. No. Huh. No. <laughs> you just asked that while we're all in this room getting yeah, our yeah, cushions it's all out. Together. Yeah. You said Should it out we? Loud or did you yeah, think we're it? saying in our head. I mean, if she said it in her head, we all fucking heard it. <laughs> <laughs> That's even funnier. <laughs> Everyone just freezes in their bedding <laughs> down. <laughs> so many thoughts you don't want it. For conversations. Sorry. Oh, for fuck's sakes. This is kind of fun though. It's like everybody else's experience and what I experience all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard. It's hard. <clears throat> it's pretty crazy that we were just on the moon and now we're in a ski chalet. Yeah. I feel like I'm losing my sense of weird. <laughs> Get some breast. If we do find out where we are, though, we're still gonna go back to Ruidus to. We're in Raya doing at like Umamu. No, but like if we, we're not gonna stay in Alexandria. We're gonna go back to Ruidus and keep scouting. Are we? We probably keep. We probably relay the back door first, right? Or do we go back? We should relay. We have to make sure that this is usable. Yeah. Absolutely right. I I would go back. I would ask you all. Yeah. I I will go back. I'm going back. There's still more to learn, right? Yeah. 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 All right. This is a nice little interlude. <laughs> All right. As they uh, settle down, can I make two requests with sure. the monocle of true essence? Can I use uh, detect magic to look at the two silver uh, rings and one gold band that were taken off of the w- Willmaster? Sure. Yeah. Um, the gold ring itself is just a normal gold ring. Um, both of the silver bands have a faint divination-based magical essence to them. Um, I have identified it. We need it. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll hand those over to FCG and be like, check these out later. I'll check it out now. Great. I will cast identify. Okay. Uh, the first one you go ahead and pull up and look at it, and it is essentially a, a ring of life awareness meaning it is connected to another entity and will notify the wearer of the other ring or this one if something happens to them. It's a life oh, alert. Fuck. Oh my god. Where, where did we pull this off of? Oh no. This was Willmaster uh, Edmuda. Oh, oh no, no. Shit. Which Maybe they, it's Willmaster Elmuda's spouse. She she oh, kicked no. it. She, well, she suffocated in the hole, right? Yeah. Or did we? No, no. You killed her with the spell. No. Yep. What do you mean? <laughs> I'll also say that. We I mean, can, we haven't opened the hole does the, yet. Does Tomorrow. the ring have tracking? Does the ring have tracking? <laughs> does the ring have tracking? Does the ring have tracking? <laughs> <laughs> you don't. I mean, the, it's just designed to let the other the other side yeah. know. Since you're just like, poof, you've lost. That's this just person one of them. has passed. Yeah. But it stands to reason that. Someone could do a locate object spell on it, although sure, but if it's within a certain radius. Put it in, in the hole radius. or in the bag, it should be yeah. fine. And I'll say that in the morning, we do have a machine that can make it inert if we need to be, if no, it needs to be. That is true. We, could Wait, can that thing the suck the magic out of an object? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, cool. we did it on the silverware, remember? Cool. In fact, that's probably a better use for it. Mm. All things considered. Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't want to trace a little, so I'm super yeah. down with that. Yeah. Yeah. What was the other one? Uh, no, the other one, while well, it had a faint magical essence, how many times can you cast Identify? Once. Correct, and that's for a singular item? That's right. Yeah, so the other one, yeah. uncertain. Okay, you hold on to that one. You got one other band. A ring? Ring. We're gonna put, it in, ring. The, put it, we're gonna put oh. it in the hole, don't. don't. Wow. Boy, with that earring, letters just hits different. Yeah. It really does. <laughs> and as they uh, as they start to sleep, uh, I'm, I'm gonna spend home. I'm gonna spend at least an hour crafting a handheld toy, um, using my new feet. Okay. All right. I take out a piece of wood and I I concentrate and I 
I listen to the creatures at night and I let the muses guide my chisel in a flurry of chips and dust. Glory, <laughs> blood flying. <laughs> Until I behold a masterpiece of unparalleled precision and craftsmanship. And I put it away. <laughs> wow. Very well. <laughs> legendary toy maker. You're not just a master craftsman, you're legendary. Oh, shit. Oh. oh. We haven't seen this in action yet. That's right. Those yeah, make a fate pack, man. It only costs a life. Oh, my gosh. Kill. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the two of you are on the first watch, then. I'm covered in sawdust. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are we doing? What are we so doing? We're all, uh, perception check for both of you. Thirteen. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Twenty-two. Okay. Really solid. You can see the 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 mists that kind of protrude from the lake kind of expand further beyond the water and kind of fill the entirety of the valley. Kind of like a slow crawl. Um, it kind of adds to the spooky atmosphere outside the the windows of the household and just the the cold temperature. You kind of enjoy the darker atmosphere a bit. Um, but that's it. Nothing else to worry about. Is there any conversation you wish to go, or we move on to the next watch? Okay. Okay. Who's taking next watch? Orem and Imogen. Okay. Two of you settled in? Yeah. Okay. Can you see in the dark? No. Cool, me neither. I can hear real well. Oh. Can you put one of your little uh, glowy walls under that moldy pillowcase? Okay, I'm gonna try something. It's not gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. All right. Caleb Widow Gast. We're in a village called Raya Duin. It's a back door, maybe, to the moon. Do you hear me? Come for a visit? Did there's, we ever get him free from? There's a brief moment before you hear back. Ah, hello. Um, <gasps> shut up! Wait, who is this? I've tried it like five times and only gotten feedback. But, hello. Is that Caleb? Is that him? Is that him? I hear him. Shush, shush. This is strange. None of this has not worked in some time. Make sure it's him, make sure it's him. What if I, I got can't, it's him? one time, it's a rock. Oh, fuck me. Wait, if I can do it, maybe you can do it. Gimme. Oh, that's not, not the rock. <laughs> oh, just your Sorry. innate abilities, your amazing right, abilities. Right, 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 hold on, let me. Wait, did Caleb say anything else? No, oh, wait, did he? <laughs> you know, that, that, he was just kind of taken aback by oh, it as well. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm gonna use uh, the my. But I said the name of the place. I'm gonna get a third yeah, level yeah, back with my last three sorcery points, and then I'm gonna try to cast sending. Well, th with... think out what you're gonna say because oh. I didn't think that was gonna work, oh. and I just said. The oh shit! Bare... Okay, so. So I said the name of the village. Okay. I asked him to visit. Do we know if he's? Do we know he's okay? What? Where did we see him last? He was getting taken by lewdness. That's the last thing I remember. Yeah, he was getting drug off with Bo. I'm so where is he? <laughs> But yeah, what if that's not, what if it's not him? What if that was what if that was Ludens? Does Ludens have a does that mean? Choose your choose your spell thing. Do your stuff. Who are you gonna send to? I'm gonna send to Caleb. Well, you try Ludens. to Caleb, and because it would only go to Caleb from you, all so right, it's right, not right, gonna right, go to Ludens right, right, if you try to call right, Caleb. Right, right, right. I mean, I don't know how magic works. All right, all right. That's true. If he was if, what, if, what if it was Lewis Ludens would be captured? Mm. Did, ah! did that sound like Ludens? That didn't sound like Ludens. Did he? But, I mean, he could. Does pretend. he have a Zemni knife? Would my perception work to recognize a, ma a man's voice who I've met for minutes? Yeah, that, that definitely sounded like okay. the, the the vocal essence <gasps> of the the strange okay. uh, <laughs> jacketed man. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Ludinus is a hobbyist voice actor and he's uh -huh. trying yeah, yeah, yeah. some new shit. It's <laughs> Eric voice Bowser. Acting is a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> That's the big badge. <laughs> 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 
you know, you think of. Dear, dear Bell's Health, how do you get into voice-off? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got this book by Yuri and Terry. What should I ask him? What should I ask him? Well, uh, where, are you, or, where are you? Or, and, or are you okay? Uh-huh. I asked him to visit. I mean, I'm sure I confused him. He sounded confused. I'm confused. Uh, okay. I can call All right. Uh, uh, All right. Um, okay. I'm going to cast sending on Caleb Wittergas. I hope this works. Of course it's going to work. I don't know. Maybe that's like a special thing. It doesn't. Okay. Psh. Um. I assume this means you're all right. Again, that's Lake Umamu. Can you get word to the resistance? Yes, this is Caleb Vitogast. Um, I don't know what has changed. This, this sort of communications have not worked for some time. I do know where in the spell fan? Oh, oh. I'm gonna use, oh fuck, what if we run in? What well, if something really scary that happens tonight and I need the higher level? We're all fucked anyway, so. Can I give you another one of my phones? You're asleep. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go over to Fern while she's sleeping. Oh, we're down on the moon, I can't do it! Oh shit. Fuck! Well, fine, nothing's okay. gonna happen tonight, we'll be fine. Okay, then I'm gonna, ooh, should I keep talking to him? I, th I think mm -hmm. if you can, I mean, w uh, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. Send somebody else a message. Oh, I could send it to somebody else. I could send it to Kaylee. Yeah. Yeah, All right. Tell her about it. Okay. What can he do? All right. Tell You're right. Get, and tell her to get in touch with him, and they can coordinate. Come on, figure it out. Okay. I'm gonna send a message to Kaylee. Huh? Vision man. Maybe it won't work. Maybe. Shut up. Okay. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Hey. Hey. What, what? You got this, you're doing great. Okay. Can you count my words, because I'm afraid I'm gonna Oh yeah, this. okay. Um, Go slow. All right, oh, he's rolling something. Okay, I'm gonna send a message to Keyleth. Um, Just crack my knuckles, for sure. <laughs> <sighs> we found a secret entrance. Back on Alexandria, in Lake Umamu, leads to subterranean Rudis. Down? Get in touch with Widowcast. We're in Raya Doon. <laughs> no, I'm saying that wrong. moment passes before <clears throat> a familiar voice responds. Hi, hello, um, is everyone okay? You're in Umamu. That's the Karamarin Reach, Isilra. Karamarin Reach? Karamarin. What about Rudis? I'll use my last spell. All right. Nope, that's not it. Okay. You're doing great. After the bloody bridge, <laughs> the capital city of Creveris is where they're gathering forces. There's a tunnel that leads down halfway there. We'll show you. Nice, nice, nice. All right. 
Um, let me finish some business here, and I'll try and meet you. I'm curious to hear how much you've learned. Time is starting to run short. Oh, fuck. And that's it. Shit, she wants to like make her way here. If I can take, we've been resting. We've been resting. You got a short yeah, rest. you've been taking a short rest. Yeah. You so I could rest. get some of my sorcery points back. Yeah. With my short rest. Us uh, sleeping for the first two or three hours was a short rest. Right. Or I could bonus action turn my first level spells into a third level spell with my sorcery points. Yeah, you can do that. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to send <coughs> my last. Oh, why do I look like I have a third level left? That can't be right. Oh no. Okay, so I'm going to use another third level. Okay, to send back to Keelan. Should I tell her we haven't learned anything yet in Creveris? Maybe save the energy, we'll go p push forward and come back? What are the things that you want to, like forget if, if it, we weren't limited by anything, if you could tell her. Well, I want to tell her we haven't been to Creveris, we haven't seen much more beyond yeah. the Bloody Bridge, right? Beyond that encampment. Yeah, so what is the important thing is to say we need to go back in, but we, we need, need to, to impart in. this. Right, I right? just wanted to like let her know where the entrance was. Right. But we won't be here. No, we won't be here to meet yeah. her. Oh, go away. good morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> we won't be here. <laughs> Mama? We can just tell her we're going back in in the morning. How will they use it though on their own without, like, if they find she it, can... they go through and then think of what they're going to find. We'll have to f help her get out. Right. We can lead, we can leave a trail. We can leave a trail back up. Markings? Something, yeah. Okay. To help her find her way to the surface. <laughs> oh! He's attacking her. He's the monster. It's gonna be okay, right? I don't know, but thank you. For what? Weeks, months, I don't know. How long have we been together? I don't know. Months? Feels like years. Hang on to me, I'll hang on to you. Right. I'll hang on to them. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. All right. Portal is in the lake. We're heading back in in the morning. Haven't learned enough. Going to Creveris. We'll leave markers for you to follow. Very well. I'll send a team to follow and see what this secret door is in the lake. Good luck moving forward. We're counting on you. She's gonna send a team to follow. <sighs> it's about this time another voice pushes into your head oh, like yeah. a like a bat out of hell. Um, hello? Um, Mr. Caleb said I'm supposed to talk to this person. Is this, <laughs> is this working? I've tried this so many times. This driving me up oh. the wall and. Bad trust, it? Oh. Oh, this is her first. So, anyway, I'm just curious if this is going forward. Hello? Please respond. Please. Hold on, let me fucking convert some. <laughs> Can't you reply to the message? Oh, I can't. You didn't start it. Didn't. I didn't start it. Yes. Uh, who it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It works. We met Caleb in at the key. We're at Lake Umamu. 
We just talked to Lady Caliph. Okay, I don't know who that is, but I'm extremely happy for you, and I'm so happy this is working. So who are you? What are you doing? What? Why, how do you know Caleb? How did this all come? I'm Imogen. We're a group. We went to Ruidus. How do you? We met Caleb at the key. He was captured. We haven't seen him since. Okay, well, he's fine now, and uh, did, nice to meet you, person that knew Caleb at the key. Don't know what that means either, but uh, <laughs> thank you. Who is this? Oh, my name is Chester. <laughs> nice to meet you, Chester. Nice to meet you, I guess, from distance, but... Maybe sometime I will meet in person and then I could give you a hug. Oh. Unless right. you're a bad person. I'm a good person. Mm. I'm a good person! Like the most collect balls yeah. ever. Mm. Yep. Please insert fish. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dorian, we're alive. Been to the moon, going back. Find the Tempest. If I don't get the chance again. I've really missed you. No words meet your ears, but you swear you heard something outside. There's windows in this room? You're not sure. But you need, you need to check in on it. You need to see what that was. Careful. Mm. Uh, I, what is it? It might be Dorian. Oh no. my <laughs> Oh no, he's gonna get sucked into the... Oh my oh, god. No. This is no. This, this is, is what, a what's horror what's film. I really thought There's you were. There's two people left. It's okay. It'll be all right. What's going on? Was any of them? I think someone's outside. Who? Who? I don't know. I heard somebody outside. Well, then we should wake the others. That's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> Shh. Somebody's outside. Someone's outside. I. I need to go look. No, 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 no. Well, come with me. What's wrong? Well, just wait, just wait a second. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. I heard oh. someone outside. Somebody's working. Oh. I can talk to people. You should wake up, MCG. And that's like shit. Wake up. No one's going outside. Wait till morning. I will send Pate. As you're all having this conversation, Orm is walking towards the door. No, 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 wait, where are you Orm, going? Orm, can I try to hold on to his arm? Don't go outside. That's what the horror movie is. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, if he's outside. Who? Why didn't he answer me? It, he, we just were able to talk to Dorian. Well, he talked to Dorian. What are, are you sure? We talked to Caleb, we talked to, we talked to. Keyleth and that, Keyleth and, and this, somebody else. Yeah, a, a little girl. Where, where did you? <laughs> I don't know if she's little. She had a little voice. Oh, she sounds great. Where? <laughs> this, this is like no, wait, 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 class wait. A spooky stuff, yes. and I know spooky. So just don't move. I'm gonna send Pate, okay? Gonna and he's gonna do a little scouty scout. Because why wouldn't he have answered if he's outside? Outside. Exactly. Why wouldn't he have answered if he's outside? So let's just send somebody to go check. Just wait. Can you not wait? You've 
You can wait five minutes. I send Pate <laughs> through the window. <laughs> Go see if anyone's was outside. <laughs> He's the biggest paratrooper just getting thrown out the A1 with the C-130. <laughs> no real description, just <laughs> <laughs> I go pate vision. Yeah, make reception check. It's through his perception, right? Mm -hmm. This is how we do this? Yeah, that's why it always it's sucks. It's never good. Yeah. You should make Hang him some on. eyeballs. I should. Why are you looking up stats? Oh, like you really should. I know, I know. Okay. Fuck. Oh, like, oh fuck so you, <laughs> it's your fucking <laughs> fault. <laughs> Three. Uh, no. It's hard to see through like the mist that's gathered around the lake the and this this kind of dark area. I mean, it's you know it gets this cold at night too. Like it just kind of naturally happens in these sort of environments. Um, can't really make out any details. Okay, look, there's not. It doesn't seem like, like anything's out there. There's a thick layer of mist. It looks real spooky. What did I hear though? What did you? What did, what you, did hear? you hear? You probably heard Dorian. He's probably outside. Chat. Listen, what or if he is, though? that's what I'm saying. He'd you knock, know he's not. He'd talk. He'd sing. He has a fucking lute. He's so loud and obnoxious. We would know. Let's go take. A I look. just want to remind everybody that this town is completely empty and abandoned because people were being called and randomly walking into the lake. Yeah. Says so, the bird that FCG talked to. Says the court. Says the court documents one that guy, I spent two one hours One guy reading. walked into the lake. The fishmonger walked mm, into the lake. No, 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 the no, front no, door. Multiple What's people putting the hammer up yes. and activating they the fucking the, they on the door. Just, just making a little, making it an effort to get out. You head to the door. Mm -hmm. You feel like you heard something too. There is something. What the fuck was that? Okay, well, well, well. we for sure took a short rest, correct? Mm -hmm. Took a short rest. Oh, thank yeah. fucking god. Not a long rest, but a short rest. <sighs> I didn't FCG. get any of my spells back yes, yet. Sir. Chetney. But you yeah. Really great shit. You all have this this <clears throat> overwhelming sense that that something. You don't know if like maybe the portal has closed, or something has come through, but a little thing in your brain is is. You're worried about your ability to return. Because if there's something, there's something that's calling you towards that water. To inspect, to check, to make sure that everything's okay. I hate this. I love it. Yeah, we gotta go. All right. Well then, listen. Um, we'll... So wait, the, the door is blocked right now, or is it open? Uh, you watch. Uh, Ashton goes and puts the hammer in the front. And I kind of pull it away a bit, second guessing. Well, let's just go because we gotta get get back quick and get to sleep. Can't so. lose the portal. Yeah. I'm gonna exit the door. I'll follow FCG. Why are we, okay. Did we hear? Oh. What? All of us heard something now. No, you haven't heard anything. What's going on? No. Why are you? What? What's going on? I just so have a feeling that something's messing with the portal. We just got to make sure it's not Stop closed. Fucking walking outside. Are you guys kidding me right now? I don't now? walk. I roll. Get back. Oh, I you used to almost. Be I Hold on. I'm gonna get my sails back. Fuck. Thanks, Jester. Burned all the slots. Shit. It was. It was talking to Keely. Thank you. Can I much. use Hunter's Bane to just figure out I what have might a have closed? Level left. The portal. Make them, yeah. Well, Hunter's Bane. Okay. Got my warlock's boss. Hunter's Bane. Twelve. Oh, thirteen. Thirteen. There's some sort of. You can sense there's a there, there's an there's an unnatural essence around the center of this water. It doesn't feel unwelcoming, and you wonder if. Maybe there's another ally to be found in this possible boon. FCG, I think actually we, we might not be alone, but not in a bad way. I'll cast light. So we got some lights as we go to the the shore towards the shoreline. Matt, sure. having like a connection to the sorry, do your thing. So I'm saying, if the lights turn on to uh 
<laughs> I'm gonna switch to a fog setting because it immediately <laughs> kind of blows oh. out the mists yeah, around the high beams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> having like my Castle's connection. Just one foot in front of me. <clears throat> Matt, having my connection to uh, the afterlife. What do you do mean? I sense any type of undead type presence? Does this feel like some spoopy shenanigans? I mean, this whole area is kind of spoopy at this time of night. Um, I mean, you don't have like an unnatural sense for anything undead around you necessarily. You up to your mouth. Low beams hit anything? No. Yeah, we're good. The two of you kind of begin to wander out of the building into the street. All I see is the urn. Nothing else. Do we go? Do we Ashen Norm. Uh, we, we should follow too? them. We should right. follow I mean, them. Yes. Uh, we'll stay together. Yeah, we it's should best follow to them. Stay together. But yeah, something, right. something's fucking. I'm up. keeping an eye out though, because we heard. What did we hear? We heard something. But if you I heard something shit. that close to the door, you would have seen them. Outside. We're by the fucking lake now. It's dark out there. It's real dark. I mean, it's a village. Do you see anything? I can't see shit. We don't have lights. The lights go in as you kind of trek out into the mists of the village that kind of creeped past What's the lake at this the point. Spotlight. Oh, the lake must look crazy with those lights awesome. and the fog on it. It's extremely light. diffused all throughout and kind of giving this weird atmospheric <laughs> glow around you. Like it hits the. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't like this at all. Uh, Why don't we just go back inside and sleep this Chet, off? Chet! What? Get back inside. I can't. I got to make sure the portal's no, safe. No, Chet, stop it. Wait, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go swim down there and make make sure, and they come back up? Why are you worried about me, baby? Mm. <laughs> yes, but yeah, it'll be real fast. Plus, I feel like there's something that can help us out here. You're being an idiot. No, there's no, nothing. No. I have a sixth sense about these but things. You're going. Al- this is okay. We're no, gonna have to have like buddy someone system. with you. I, yeah, I mean, like it's. I, well, it makes sense. Very generous, yeah, Ashton. Let's go. Yeah. To come back. There's something. There's something you uniquely alluring about what's happening in that lake. Like it it could be useful. This is not good. What do we do? How do we stop? Start thinking. I've used all our stuff. What do you think? I could could really use a hand. No, 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 you're... Four... I see what you're thinking. I regained on the short rest. Can I, with the help of the lights here, can I see anything? Make a perception yeah. check. I mean, what on. if it is a, what if it is good? <laughs> exactly, Fern. But, but if it is good, maybe it'll be here by the time we make up. Wow, wow, that's amazing. I rolled two twos. Oh, oh no. no. That's low enough so you can't. Can't re really yeah. <laughs> You can just see the, the mostly still waters of the lake, the occasional bit of wind that kind of breasts through. You can see the, uh, the mist shift with it, and the surface kind of ripple faintly, and the little bit of uh, light you're casting out throughout the various spells that you're using, kind of reflecting off of the surface. This, this seems important to do now, despite the fact that I am basically useless. Correct. I mean, this is this is just checking in, and you don't want to okay. miss the opportunity here. This feels no, fair. this feels yeah. pretty yeah, was, yeah was, pretty do you important. Do feel like we're hearing anything as well, or is it just then? You guys haven't picked up anything yet. No. I Can I run down in front of? Chet, because he's he's wet, walking to the lake. Well, they're coming up towards the edge of the lake now. Yeah. Can I run in front and like cast a tech thoughts? It's my last spell slot. That I well no, I take that back. I have four sorcery points. I can get more spells. Detect thoughts so that I can see if there's a creature that I can sense now. Okay, you cast the tech thoughts. You pick up all your friends. Um, there is a. Not a specific point, but there is an intelligence that kind of settles behind you and below. The lake is behind. We are in Bangor, Maine. Oh my. While the four of you, kind of as you think in your head, trying to process this, don't realize that you're now pushing knee height to waist height in the water, just heading straight into the lake. Who all's going? Chetney, FCG, Ashton. And I have four, four sorcery points. Yeah. I am going to use all four of those sorcery points to regain first level spells. And I'm going to cast command on each one of them and tell them to go back to the house. Okay. Oh. You'll, 
I can't, yeah, you have to use one word. Say return. Return. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and roll for you all. Ooh, because uh, we don't control ourselves anymore. Oh it's not their will you're rolling against. Oh, interesting. It's a seven, then a nine, then a two. Oh, this is bad rolls. <laughs> a natural 20. Oh. Go, who's Good. Who's the 20? Who's the 20? Come back. Who's yeah. the 20? <clears throat> All right. Who's the twenty? Uh, the twenty. <laughs> Who's the twenty? <laughs> Who's the fucking twenty? The twenty would be Orm, as oh. Orm kind of stops and catches yourself and begins to walk back, immediately, kind of like shaking out for a moment and turning around to focus, uh, while the three of you begin to submerge. No, well, no, no, no. Oh, they the failed the command, so wouldn't they? Yeah, go if back? I failed, wouldn't it be one? Yeah, he's the twenty. He's the only one that would continue on. So what this is is it's the different. it's the battle of uh, right. She tried to command. I rolled a twenty and beat her spell. Right, right. The, no, 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 no. You're right. I had it backwards in my head. Okay. So no, for in this instance, it would be FCG, Chetney, and uh, Orem. All start to head back. All, all immediately kind of kind of stop sloshing in the water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Turning tail and beginning to like. Catch themselves for a minute while Ashton. I'm the one. Okay. Oh. Because okay. I was rolling oh, across or. the way, and I got that. Oh, I got, got that cross wires there. I'm going to tell so Pate good. to go invisible, and to follow Ashton, like connect himself to Ashton. Okay. So in this chaos, it's splashing in the waters, turning around, kind of a bit of panic starting to take root here, expending those sorcery points to try and get your friends to stop. Three of them halt and kind of look at each other oddly and start turning back. For six seconds. Uh, uh, so, so and like by, and by, the, by the panic hits you as you turn around and realize that Ashton is out of sight. Wait. The sound of a splash. Wait. And as you begin to search for him to try and find a way, you hear Fuck. your three other friends begin to back wade back, back water into the water. I do have water. I do, I do, I do. And I do. that's Pass where we're going to go ahead and take a break. Oh, oh bastard man. Oh. It's about that time. <laughs> Just kill Remember long rests? Those were cool. <laughs> We'll never rest again. We'll never campaign. rest again. No nope. chance. <laughs> Why did we sleep over here? Uh, fucking told you. Well, so it's just, right. Let's just sleep in the cave. We'll get there in the morning. It'll be great. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I'm going back to the cave. You all are crazy. Wait, shit. I'm going to the bathroom. All right. We'll see you guys here in a few minutes. Oh, God. <laughs> Trackless wilds. Forbidden strongholds. Incredible treasures, wherever your imagination takes you. Shepeku has you covered. Bring your adventures to life with over 5,000 stunning hand-drawn battle maps. Each map includes variations for time of day, weather, and mood. Face off against big bads in epic boss battle surroundings. Immerse your players and level up your campaigns with beautifully animated maps. Jump straight into the action. Our VTT Ready maps come with walls, lighting, and fog of war set up for you. Subscribe on Patreon now. Your next adventure starts with Chepeku. Give up. I can see it in your faces. I get it. You can sometimes feel like you're mad doing the things we do for Candela. And that's valid. Monsters of this world have come looking for us without ever lifting a finger. So why should we be seeking them out? No one, not me, not anybody, would judge you for walking away. Except. I know why you showed up to begin with. 
You're doing it for yourselves, sure. But you're doing it for all of them, too. What we do is taking a stand. We want something better. And for fuck's sake, all that pain's got to be good for something. You can let it overwhelm you. You can take hold of it and use it for something. to make the world better. Delve into a new tabletop role-playing game of investigative horror with the Candela Obscura Core Rulebook using the Illuminated World System by Darrington Press. Roam the turn-of-the-century inspired setting of the Fairlands, including the bustling city of New Fair and the ancient ruins of Old Fair below. Assemble a circle of investigators within the paranormal secret society of Candela Obscura. You'll analyze strange and horrifying events, fight back against dangerous phenomena, and contain the bleed that spreads from corruptive magic. Choose from 10 custom character sheets to empower your investigations and explorations. Use tactical intuition and brawn with the soldier specialty. Use your charm with finesse and flair as the magician specialty. Or study and practice mystical arts as an occultist. Explore districts of New Fair, competing organizations, four full assignments, and dozens of example assignments to inspire you. If you choose to brave the role of Game Master, this guide contains everything needed to pave the way for your Candela Obscura investigators. Offered in both a standard edition as well as an ornate limited edition for collectors, the Candela Obscura Core Rulebook contains 204 art-filled pages, including maps, items, immersive notes, mysteries, and plenty more to power your very own story. Keep this tome close, for the knowledge obtained may be the key to protecting you, your allies, and the Fairlands. Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. Roll an investigation if you want. It's basically perfect. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Ooh, look at this. Look at the details. Ooh. Oh, it's so comfy cozy. You need this? You probably need this. Can you put donuts in this? Only one way to find out. I mean, the traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. This is this is a lot of stuff, you guys. We have like so many cool things right now. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Thatch is falling. Bodies tumble around him in a brilliant void of clouds, plummeting through thin air surrounded by shimmering rain. Mica fragments like gleaming razors scratch and cut, abrading his skin, scouring his lungs. He's probably about to die. But strangely, it's situations like this where he tends to feel the most calm. His life has never really belonged to him anyway. The cosmos's interminable gravity is pulling him down, 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 plummeting through space, through the yawning void that is the Un. Everything is falling to pieces around him, but he feels a rare certainty at this moment. 
No one else is going to tell him if this choice was right or wrong. But he thinks he can live with that. For a few more moments, at least. He cannot survive a fall like this through open air for long. More on that later. Phineas isn't falling quite yet. In fact, very much the opposite. Surely the two things aren't related. Whoever said that things that go up must come down? Because right now, it's all about going up. guys we got a new sub promo we need to come up with <sighs> nothing fancy just the talking points uh you know what i actually have a great idea for a sub promo what if we do asmr part two what do you think no. we're not doing another asmr sketch oh, why not well, what's wrong with it because the audience hates it uh, it's creepy it's not creepy everybody loves it look kirby loves it <sighs> no stop no 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 fine if i can't do asmr then I just don't want to be part of the sub promo at all. Get somebody else to do it. I'm in too many of them already. Sam, all we need you to say is that as a Critical Role Twitch subscriber, you'll, you'll be able to watch to all of our new videos before be they end up on YouTube. Wait a second. You two are trying to sneak in a sub promo right now, aren't you? Because that is not going to happen. Sam, can you just scoot just a little bit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Like this? Yep, Why? Yep. A little Why? bit. What's right. Something? Scoot. Stop. Right there. Right there. You're good. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, a text from Max. Ah, stupid Twitch promo. Hey Sam, I know you read your texts out loud, distracting me from my real work, which is making a flask gag. Please say that with a Twitch subscription my members get to one free Twitch role, subscription you can to watch live with a professionally choice. moderated chat. Guys, this is not funny. People? You know what I need. I'm subscribing to Critical Role! Doesn't that sound nice? I just want to eat them right up. Crying, dying. Uh -oh. And you can check out our merch as well as many other exciting new items at shop.critroll.com. Also, don't forget, if you subscribe with Prime Gaming, you'll need to manually renew your subscription each month. What? Is this another sub promo? Uh, I'm sorry, Sam, is there something wrong with the teleprompter? Yeah, 
Yeah, it's more sub promo stuff. Can't you see it? It's right there. Uh, we also have cue cards if you'd rather. Check Twitch's FAQ for more info. No, 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 you're all out to get me. This is a, this is a conspiracy. No, get me out of here. Get me there. Sam, wait, no. I'll, no. I'll, 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 I'll talk to him. I can fix this. Samuel, Sam. What's Kyle, going on? Kyle, I, I feel like I'm losing it. It's just sub-promo, sub-promo, sub-promo. Everywhere I look, I, I just want to escape. Sam, you can escape. Ad reads when you subscribe to Critical Role on Twitch. No, no, not you too. Not you too! Get away from me! That's the new professional moderator. Watch all our new shows. Oh, my! <laughs> oh, you guys, I just got it. The best idea ever for a sub promo. Swear to God, if it's another ASMR bit, I will. No, it's better than ASMR. It's something that everyone loves. Guys, we go meta. Oh God. No. no. It's clever because it's self-referential. Mm -mm. And welcome back. <laughs> so. No. <laughs> now with mm. one and quickly four members of your troop all diving into the darkened waters of this lake mid-evening. No. What are the rest of you doing? <laughs> uh, um, no. Uh, I have no rest. spells. It does feel good. Cool. And you're so close. You're so close. No, no, no. I'm no. just going to. Am I close to any of them? I'm going to try to hold on to Orem and just like pull him back. Sure. All right. Join us. Both of you make contested strength rolls, please. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm not alone. And That's nice. Oh. I'm real tiny, but I roll real high. Oh. I'm just getting dragged. He's trying to pull Orm first. 17. He's, I see he's how, the weakest. I see, I see how it is. He's the weakest. Cool. What'd all you right. get, Imogen? I, no, I rolled. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Okay. I rolled a weakest or uh, weakest? seven. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, so you, you try and pull back and feel yourself I'm being pulled under with him. Do you, do you continue to hold on or do you let him go? <laughs> Um, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm just going to keep holding. I'm going to keep holding. Okay. The two of you watch <gasps> as Imogen vanishes beneath the water. Oh, with the Dad! Line. No, no, no. I think I have. I think I have an idea. Do I see a, like any boats or buoys or ropes? <laughs> make a make a <laughs> make a perception yes. check. There is a sunfish and any? a motorboat. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is that a boat uniform? Wait, perception. Come on. Oh, fuck. That Why? Really it's a natural one. one. Can I come up out of the water? Can you communicate that that's what you're looking for? That is a shitty, no shitty is it, number He to said roll. when we were coming in that there was there was there was docks. Is this yeah. a lot of them. Yes, it's and fucking it fucking awesome. failed me. 
Just see he's going down, he's going under, he's going under. Do you see a boat? A boat? Boat, fishing boat. What is like what? You kind of take a boat underwater? I'm going to scorching ray each of them. I'm going to look for a boat. They're under the water. Okay. <laughs> but you can certainly try. I wish we could breathe under there. <laughs> is, that, is that investigation? <laughs> Shit. It's be perception to look in the area. Yes. This isn't much. No. Nine. Twenty-four hours. Nine. Twenty-four hours. Nine. Yeah, 24 hours. It, Water breathing. Here in the yeah. middle, like like you're, you're you're just on the edge of where the the lake gets too deep for you to, to stand on your feet, and you glance around in the vicinity here. You don't see anything around you. Uh, you do see where there are docks, which would be the closest space to go, but you'd have to step away from where your friends vanished to get to it. Do you, there's there there's there's boats at the dock. There's Is docks. Oh, there's docks. There's not. You don't see any boats floating in the water. Ah, no boats. I I stick my head into the water. Do I see any boats? <laughs> where you are, or where you're standing? Yes, I'm on the edge and stick my head under. Dark okay. vision. You're not in the lake yet. No. I'm in the lake. You're yeah, not in the you lake. Look so cute. Yeah, the I know. The glasses, the glasses are different reading different the same goggles right now. Okay. <laughs> So, so you're now sticking your head into the water. Yes. Make another perception check. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Fuck. Sixteen. That's still not. That's right. not bad. It's better. Sixteen's, 16's better. not bad. Uh, then one. Indeed, <laughs> under the water, around the dock, you see four boats that are sunken and like half lodged into the silt and muck along the side. You can see ropes that once tethered them have like long snapped as they just slowly sank with time and weather. Um. All right, I am going to to cast animate objects on a boat and a rope. I'm gonna look at the boat. I'm gonna be like you. Come here, it's go ship time. And you watch as the water begins to shift and bubble over as an old rickety kind of subwater rotted boat. <laughs> Onto the surface. And you see, just for flavor, out of it, it just has two wooden planks that go clink out of the side, and it grows like little, little muscular hands, and it starts crawling <laughs> across the water. What do you want, bitches? Oh, 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 oh my god. It's, it, you can make yes. it alive? Oh, I didn't know. With the, can talk. With, the, with the creepy boat. I what did. are you doing with the boat? I said, I'm going to try and go in and, and you, Mr. Rope Man. What? Does the rope talk? Oh, you, oh, you did the rope, rope as well? Because it's rope. a the rope boat would be huge. Okay, and so yes, I can do. Okay, <laughs> it takes. Hang on. It's like eight. How is the boat? It's like ten things, boat? and a huge thing is, yeah. counts as eight things. Oh. So you can but do. But then a small thing counts as two things. <laughs> right. So we'll say if we'll say you can get you can get a length of <laughs> yeah, rope that is long sunken in there. You can you can go ahead and bring the okay. the rope and the boat. Yes. So the, so the boat, which you don't hear, you see it moving, but you don't hear it talking. Oh. This is kind of your connection to it as its creator. What do you need? All right. The rope's like, oh, hey, I'm there. No. <laughs> I don't know what's your name. Dread, no, no, no. I'm a rope. That's a prayer. That's a good name. Okay, listen. I have four of our friends out there. Uh -huh. You are like. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> okay, so we have four friends out there, and they're all mind controlled by whatever spooky uh, presence is here in the lake. You gotta go get them, wrap them up, and drag them back into shore. I'm a rope. You and the you and boat. Gets into the it's boat. a rope and boat combo team. Do you hear me, boat? I hear you. Go get them. <laughs> can I send the dancing lights <laughs> down? Can the I boat just, turns around. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, can I send the dancing lights down after our friends so I can at least track them in light what where they're I'm going? Also sh I'm shining lights. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Thank true. That's true. I'll Deep. send them after the other three. A little then. submarine. Okay, mm -hmm. you can see kind of the the dull glow of FCG kind of vanishing into the depths below as you send your orbs down to follow. The four of you, you're so close. You, there's, there, you can feel that sort of anticipation, that, that, that cusp of, of elation is right on the other side of whatever it is you're going for. You, it is nothing but chemical impulse that is pushing you down deeper and deeper. And it gets harder to see as you kind of, your hands touch the top of that like massive cluster of odd underground or underwater growth. 
and the water itself is, is chilled like ice. And as you kind of reach down kind of into this space, you feel the the bits of weird, almost uh, ivy-like water growth begin to wrap around you. <laughs> can I can I swim pull down? You. And it's as it does, you, you begin to pull further into it and kind of knot through and and grip it. And it's it's no. it's like this like this wonderful embrace, this 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 warm sensation, like this was this is where you were supposed to be. This is what it was supposed oh, to be. I'm swimming. We're swimming down. We're as, swimming. You are, to it. as you both are as you both are swimming down, you look and you see just these tendrils of shadow that are all through shifting and waving into the water below, and you have no sign of your friends. Uh oh. But we sent the but what about SEG's lights? You can see this dull glow that's just kind of just faintly visible. I'm heading towards depth. the shadow ball. Mm. Yes. Same, All right. Same. Also, I, 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 I sent Pate mm. with Ashton, so can I see mm. kind of vaguely where they are? <laughs> you can see darkness beneath and Pate back to you going, oh, it's extremely way down here. <laughs> <laughs> so just to clarify. Don't gonna, worry, I got him. You're connected to Pate, a boat, a rope, all of your friends, <laughs> yes. and also we're psychically connected to this entity down there. Yes. Amazing. It's like we're all hearing, yeah. Yeah. can it's we hear yeah. their thoughts? This is so gritty. We're giving Rude as a run for its fucking money. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Fantasia in my head. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm Mickey Mouse. Am I so, uh, Are we getting close? Are we getting yeah. close? I want to get within 30 feet. You're you're getting down below, and as, as you get closer and closer at this point, you can feel the chill of the water in the lake itself beginning to almost freeze around you. I um, mean, both of you make constitution saving throws. Boy, and that's boy. just you guys. Nice. I'm gonna get to you in a minute. Yeah, we're getting fucked right now. Natural 20! Oh, boom. Yeah. Nice. Um, Noise. What am I rolling up so sorry? Constitution, constitution? saving. Okay. Um, uh, is this... And uh, uh, against a spell or other magical effect? No, this is about just the cold environment okay, around you. Uh, I rolled a 10. Okay, so you take uh, eight points of cold damage. And Can I use my reaction? Uh, if you want to, yeah. <gasps> oh! The chill of the Dread Captain and the... Oh. Yes, you can. Um, what? Resistant to cold damage. Indeed, so you only take four points of cold damage. Okay, okay. Uh, and you take four as well. Okay. That Are we no. to the really. the ball low shadow yet? You're you getting towards the depths, but before I do that, uh, all of you four make Constitution saving throws with disadvantage. I get an advantage on my next. You can agree to fail if you want to. Uh, I get advantage, doing? so I'm just going to do a straight roll. Okay, go for it. Constitution save with disadvantage. Yes. That's not fear, and it's not poison. Twenty three. This is just cold. Okay, one, so I'm going to reroll it. Okay, so that's uh, seven points of cold damage to you. Oof. Natural one. Natural one, 14 mm. points of cold damage to you. 11. 11, 14 points of cold damage. 21. <laughs> seven points of cold damage. Um, but it's cold damage to your body, but it feels warm to you. It's that, that weird transition where it's so cold it becomes mm -hmm. like a comfortable blanket of warmth. And as you begin to crawl down, you feel handholds, like you've, you've, you've found it. This is the answer. This is going to fix everything. This is perfect. You're, the memory of who you were begins to fade, and you just know you're supposed to lay here. And this is everything you've ever fought for in your life as you begin to curl up, almost going fetal, into the shadows as they surround and embrace you. Uh, the two of you, as you are looking down into the space, you see these like darkened tendrils uh, <coughs> writhing around. Uh, make a perception check to see if you can make out details of where your friends are directly. Uh, 20, 30, 20. 30, 20. Uh, you can see faintly the, the glow of where FCG's light is and the occasional glimmer of color in the shadow of where your friends are currently <coughs> delving into the base. You also, in that bit of light that comes through, can see between the shadow and murk flashes of just bones. Oh. Oh. Just oh. muddy, soot kicked up. Bones. This is a bad. This, this is, is a graveyard. This is a bad. This is a graveyard. Yes. I, 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 um, this is the do, do you see yes. them? There's bones. 
don't see him. Wait, in your rope. SCG. I'm gonna send my lights to to where she saw them and just kind of surround the area that the the boys are in. Okay, the lights come down there. Your boat and rope are now getting. Are you on the boat or are you swimming out? Yeah, we'll say I'm on the. I'm speedboat on the boat. Okay. Um, boat like is sort of making its way out. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and it's weird, because the, the boat, it has its arms or its paddles, so it's just kind of like breaststroking from the sides of the boat out in the middle of the lake while the rope's like, <laughs> looking over the edge. Yeah. Uh, what were you asking? Boat on a rope. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, no, is the, is the entity, is it like physical, or is it just shadow? You see like the cluster of like, Dense vegetation that accompanies the base, and like those those glimmers of bones through it, it's like a giant nest mass of like black vines, um, like underwater uh, growth. Um, but then on top of that, there are these black shadowy tendrils that seem to extend beyond it, and you can feel now this <gasps> extremely oppressive and hungry presence, starved presence, that is like reaching out to siphon whatever has stumbled near its layer. Can uh, I try to send out a mind sliver to the the cluster of of vines? Yes, you can. Is that a save on the target's point? Yes, an intelligence save. Intelligence save. Twelve. Uh, ooh, that is very much a fail. Okay, so it's going to take <coughs> three d six of psychic damage. No, okay. Uh, so that is sixteen points of psychic mm. damage. Sixteen points of psychic damage. The tendrils retract in for a minute, and as they do, it exposes more of the ground around it as your lights kind of print out. You can see dozens and dozens of corpses lie here, tangled and kept within this nest of vegetation. Can I see the boys? You can see them, and they're all like pulled themselves deep into it, and they're almost like cradled like children. Mm -hmm. um, in that moment, the, the tendrils come back in and surround them with darkness. And I need actually you finish what you're doing now, and then you'll, you're arriving at this point. I'm gonna bamf out, Mister. Okay. In the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, we can't. Can, can, the, can, the, can the water breathing get, get, be on him? Since no. since it's okay. Never mind. Um, <laughs> okay. He can still hold his breath for a little bit. But yeah, hold your breath for a little bit. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, I'm gonna try to have him go to, who, is there someone he can get to closest? The, who? The, the easiest one to see is FCG, okay. just because the light kind of gives a little bit of a beacon Wait, to go are you to. In the, are you in oh. the, it as well? well? Yeah, I'm in it. You're in it as well? Okay, so I'm gonna ha have Mr. go to FCG and try to all do, try to do, um, sorry. Go. Uh, the fireball. No. Um. Flame strike. Finger of death. Where the fuck? This is the flame. So like the, the the little the, the fifteen feet. He can yeah. he can dimension door basically. Yeah. The Why short the short distance teleport. Yes. Okay. Oh, he's gonna try to bamf him out. Try, one. Yes. Try to get one of them out. Out of the tendrils. Okay. Yeah. So order of operations here. You send. Mr. Down to swim towards FCG. You go ahead and release your mind sliver, and it strikes the entity. You watch as the shadows flicker for a moment. The four of you, through that damage, get to make another charisma saving throw. Oh, charisma saving throw. <sighs> oh boy. But I want to stay. You can, you can agree to, to turn it down if you want. You said an advantage or just no, just just a straight number. charisma saving throw. You know what I mean? That's how you know. Okay. I rolled pretty well. I got an eight. Okay. At a natural twenty. Natural twenty. All righty. Uh, um, very high charisma. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Eighteen. Okay. Oh, you want to stay down there? You really want to stay down there? Uh -huh. So, the three of you suddenly, that warmth shifts, and that bone-chilling cold settles in. And as you come uh, to awareness of your space, you just see nothing but darkness around you. Hey, and dancing. though you can breathe. The Not dancing lights fill the space around it, but this particular shadow that surrounds them yeah. consumes the light that falls into its space. So you just find yourselves like lost in darkness. And though you can breathe water, you breathing the deep chill of this temperature in itself hurts you, and the panic immediately kicks in. But you do have control of your uh, faculties at this oh, moment. Wow. Uh, 
Ashton, however, is still embracing down below. But I need the four of you to make Constitution saving throws for me. And are we, can we see each other, or each per, each character is totally on their own? You're just in, just in darkness right now. Yeah. Disadvantage Fellas. again, or regular? No, just regular. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Uh, oh no, sorry. For those of you who broke free, it's regular. For you, it's a disadvantage. Okay. Constitution save. Yes. Yeah. Um, hey, that's funny. A Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. You take. Uh, Eight points of cold damage. Wow. Seventeen. Eight points of cold damage. Twenty. Eight points of cold damage. Twenty-four. Eight points of cold damage. All right. So as you come to <laughs> trying to, to scramble yourself free, the boat with Ladna and the rope arrive um, on the top, and you just see like scrambling below the occasional flashes of light and like bubbles like <laughs> from underneath. What do you do? Um, I'm going to do my form of dread and kind of look like one of the undead pirates just for funsies, <laughs> and I say. Hey, we are going to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> the rope slowly turns to, to you. And rope. Oh, to Bodie and Ropey. <laughs> oh. Okay. And then the boat goes. <laughs> and we just dive down, and I just look super majestic with one foot. You I'm, and the I'm boat Captain slowly Morgan sink awesome. into the lake. <laughs> down to As go the rope begins to protrude and snake outward. Um, for those of you that just <laughs> regained your senses, what are you doing? Uh, but it's still in a void? You're still in darkness. You're just freezing cold and the panic is set in. Tangible, like, Man, uh, tendrils on us? Or just the sea, the, what feels like seaweed? You, it feels like like you have seaweed that's kind of wrapped around you with like a freezing touch and that's about it. Is there a sense of up or down? At the moment, you can make a perception check to try At and night, ascertain that's that. that's tough. It's real tough. Dis Dis disadvantage for me? Which oh yeah, so d disadvantage down in this darkness. Uh, 16. 16? I'd say 16's about good enough to figure out a general sense of up and down, yeah. Okay. Uh, if we feel like things are wrapped in, around us, I will I will buzz, uh, try to buzzsaw my way through whatever kelp is holding okay, me down. Okay, go and make an attack with a disadvantage. Disadvantage. Because it's underwater. Okay. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Second one was 10. 10. You try and buzz outward, and while it doesn't catch anything, the tendrils are still holding taut to your arm and fighting against your ability to cut into it. Did you mystify uh, them? 19 with inflict wounds on just like the, the cold, weird seaweed. That'll hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay, 3d10. A 9, 13, uh, 15. 50 points, points of necrotic. necrotic damage. No effect. <gasps> Shit! <laughs> it's, it's, it's undead seaweed. Oh shit! Oh shit! Um, it's my specialty. <laughs> Mister, oh, at this point, uh, FCG, as you're trying to buzz saw in the water, you see this little flicker of fl of light, like like almost like oh, a no. like an underwater uh, flare, trying to. <laughs> And you're like curious what that is, and it, it catches you a little fearful at the moment before you see through the flame, trying to flicker underwater, this tiny little rotund monkey body go <laughs> and reach for you. It grabs you, and then suddenly <laughs> there's a weird oh. sucking moment as the water collapses in around the space where you both were in a flash of flame, pulling both you and him a little further up into the water. You're both still deep in the water, but you've been pulled out of the binds. Thanks, mister. <laughs> No! Get out of here! You start swimming up. Yes. Swim All right. up, swim up! Get As you're air. swimming up, a boat is descending along oh! with you with a majestic looking undead captain, Ladna. <laughs> All aboard the Queen Dorolo! <laughs> <laughs> I try and like send the rope to, to wrap around whoever I can. You got it, so the I rope needs to, to descend. Can now. I try to psychically attack the the seaweed thing again to like yes, you can. free up the body so that the rope can see where to grab sure. him? Sure. Ropey. Ropey. <laughs> oh, that's a save. Okay, you save on that. That is going to be a 19. Okay, that saves. Can Orm start slicing? Orm can. But, uh, well, but we'll get to you in just a minute. Oh, okay, cool. We gotta do the girls here for so oh, so so you got uh, Mister down there to go ahead. Oh, and it's supposed to. Him out. To subtract one d four from the next saving throw it makes. Oh, okay. Before the end of my next turn, so that would. That would, would be. Sorry this. about that microphone. Uh, that's gonna be a sixteen. Then it fails. There we go. Hey, I love a d four. Um, so that's nine points of nine psychic, points of psychic damage. damage. All right, once again, it flickers and pulls back. Uh, Eight points of psychic damage You can my math. remake your Christmas saving throw. <laughs> Comedy. 
Uh, yeah, that's uh, a three. It's a three. All right. Ma you maintain I'm, your comfortable space. It's gonna be but, a long. Uh, and Fern, what are you currently doing? <laughs> I want to try to bring uh, Mister back down to see if it. Wait, can I only do that one time with Mister? No. If he's gone up for air, can he try to come back down? He can, but it's going to take him the rest of the round to get up and then yeah. eventually start heading back okay, down. Because okay. you, like you're deep in this lake, probably a good. 80 feet. Oh my god. Oh, like it's a deep heart. lake. Okay. It's a deep lake. Okay. It's a tiny monkey. <laughs> um I'm still thinking. Okay. So holding off while you're holding on to that yeah. idea. Yes. Uh, the three of you, uh, I need everyone who's in underwater now in the proximity here to make a constitution saving throw for me. No uh, one but uh, just from, just disadvantage is for you. Saving throw. Correct. Talk. Ladies? 18. 18, one point of cold damage. 19. 19, one point of cold 14. damage. 14. Uh, that's going to be two points of cold damage. It rolled really bad. And you guys aren't in the proximity. The four of you, however. 14. 14. Uh, that's going to be uh, 10 points of cold damage. Back. FCG. 13. 13. 10 points of cold damage. 19. 19. Uh, that's going to be five points of cold damage. 15. 15. It's going to be, uh, just make it. Uh, it's going to be five, five points of cold damage. 15 is the save right now. Can I take out a chisel and <clears throat> draw it along my neck and have a lightning arc across it using my blood maledict? And can I take a swipe at one of the, like trying to saw through one of yes, the fucking things? Yes, you may. Things? As you pull it out and you light it with the energy, you watch it kind of like, <laughs> it brightly sparks and you see the energy kind of like grounding and dissipating throughout the water. It seems to be flickering and flaring brighter than the normal arc that it gives off. Anticipation, Drake is underwater? Correct. Uh, not terrible. Uh, that's 24 to hit. That definitely hits. Um, great. Oh, I should roll a blood. Then we'll come to you, Warren. Oh, that's five points of damage to me, which I'll add to this. Uh, nine, 13, plus five. 18 points of damage. Five of that is the blood. Does it have any blood? Uh, it does not have blood that you can tell. Uh, but you do like carve and cut a, away a chunk of it's holding you there, and you are like able to free yourself from its bind at the moment. I'll take a second swipe. Go for it. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll hit 26. That'll hit. And that is hmm, 10 points of slashing damage, no blood mouth. Gotcha. 10 points of slashing damage. Orem? Uh, if sure. I, can I, can I swim away if it let go of me a little bit? Yeah, you can go ahead and get up through half your speed okay. in height. So if I attack, is it three? It's three strikes, they're all disadvantaged. They're, yeah. Okay, and they'll be uh, pushing attacks uh, if they succeed. Okay. Try to push these things back. Uh, that one is a 16 to hit. 16 does hit. Okay, so to four plus, uh, that's 10 points of damage. I don't know if you want we, the, the, the seaweed to make a saving throw. It does, that's gonna be a 15. That fails. Okay. okay. So you watch as, as some of the tendrils get pulled away from you, kind of releasing you from the grip that it has. Okay, next is 18. 18 hits. For 11 points of damage. And the last one will be, that's a natural one, which I will reroll. Uh, that is a 17. Okay. Four, four uh, is uh, ten, 10 more points of damage. Got you. So yeah, definitely like recoils and pulls away from you, and as the tendrils pull away and you carve pa past bits of the uh, uh, now severed floating plant matter that kind of drifts away, you now get yourself a glance down into the shadow where you were held, and you can see like four skulls just kind of embedded in the blackened silt just no. before closing up over the shadow. Oh, it's been sucking shit down here. Can I grab one before it disappears and then start swimming? If you want to try. Oh, yeah. cool. Okay. Uh, make a dexterity. Uh, no, make a make an acrobatics or athletics check. As you're now, the, the entity's going to try and re-grab you as you reach for it. Damn you, dice. 12. 12? <laughs> yeah. You do grab the skull, and as you do, it surrounds and re-grabs your arm. Yes. Re-grappling okay. you. Okay, all right. But, yeah, but you have a skull in your hand. Okay. Um, you're not leaving me. Now it 
Uh, you got pulled up, up by just him fifteen feet himself. up. Mm-hmm. If if unless you want to do something because you were thinking. No, no, no. Go for Wait, it. did you get pulled up by Ropey? Just mm, pulled up fifteen by feet up by the monkey. By, <laughs> by the underwater. Yeah. Ropey hasn't pulled next. anybody yet. Ropey. Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> is is her boat? Is Bodhi almost at me? But Bodhi's like it goes pretty cleanly through the water at this point. Is that <laughs> almost near you? I'm gonna try to grab onto the to the bow of Bodhi and ride it down and. And uh, grab my my coin and whisper a prayer to the change bringer and try to turn undead. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. The the connection you felt with the change bringer uh, since you've gone to Ruidus has felt like distant and removed. Uh, in this moment, as you try and reconnect, you feel her presence even stronger uh, than before. And for a brief moment, <laughs> the the shadows that emerge from the water almost look like hair underwater of the endless oh. roads that drift away. No, and in that moment creepy. of that's beautiful, that's beautiful, Matt. I love it. Uh, in that moment, you see that the path that leads towards this is is the path to uh, salvation for your friends, and you focus on uh, the memory of your god. And as you do, that wave of warm energy kind of <laughs> billows out. Uh, What's the save DC? Uh, I will look. It says one week. So yeah, I totally. <laughs> it says for a channel divinity. Turn undead. <laughs> it doesn't Five say. It doesn't say. <laughs> well, it doesn't say. It's, it's your spell DC. Oh, okay. Sixteen. <laughs> It's it does. Uh, it was a natural 18, unfortunately. Oh, so as the wave passes through, the shadow doesn't. I see it kind of pull back in places, but it maintains its frustrating presence. Uh, do, you, do you have? Um, <clears throat> but you're up now as you begin to descend. Now you can see. Now oh. FCG has grabbed the side of the boat. She also has to make a safe. That's true. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Wait. What is? What is it against? 16. 16. You got oh, that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wisdom save. What are they? No, I don't know. Good. This die has been fucking me. You it's have advantage good. on wisdom save. I do. You do. Should roll it. Because of the hero's speech. <laughs> oh, it is good. It is so good. Ooh, I got a natural 19. Okay, okay. So. okay yeah. <laughs> you feel it hit you, and that, that, that moment of just <laughs> essential panic begins to creep in, and you shrug it off because right now, you're a dope underwater captain. <laughs> <laughs> you can see now a flash of electricity, kind of like arcing through bits of the uh, the kind of subterranean plant life as it pulls away, revealing Chetney kind of cutting himself free of it. While you also see uh, Orem in the process of carving onto the side. So you have eyes on three of your friends. What are you doing? Who's, who's closest right now? Is Chet? I mean, FCG's on the side of the boat. I'd say between Orem and Chet, they're kind of equidistant from you. Can I tell if one looks more fucked up than I'll get Chet? Okay. So, Shinny, as you're carving away, you feel another tendril kind of snake around your body. And and you you kind of glance back and see it's just kind of this green stained bit of twine, a rope that is now tethering around your body. And you feel yourself being pulled back towards the ship. What do you do? Oh, shit. Um, Can I take. Give yourself to the Kraken! (laughs) (laughs) Can I, can I, I'll sheathe the little chisel. Kind of start fucking rolling around, and I'll, <laughs> I'll take out uh, the scythe and uh, under. Don't cut rope. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll swing blindly <laughs> <laughs> with uh, with turmoil, and uh, and actually instead of um, instead of uh, swinging through, I'll point this down at the darkness, and I'll cast uh, shatter. Shatter. Okay. So go and roll. Uh, oh no, for me that's Constitution save. Yes. Oof. Spoiler. Nah, that's, that's a, that's a fail. Oh really? It's only fourteen. <laughs> uh, no, it's a natural four. Amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun. Twenty-two points of thunder damage. Twenty-two. And you all ten, hear this ten-foot sphere. <laughs> and you see this like. Eruption of force beneath, like those depth charges that <laughs> you watch the water kind of, you know, re-center uh, itself from where the initial force to bubble burst outward and then goes ahead and diffuses back into space. I this like flash below. Song of the cannons over the open sea. Getting weird. Bodhi's all. 
Oh, what's a C? <laughs> uh, as Ropey is tethered around, goes, and you hear in your head, you hear nothing, but you hear, no worry, full, I got you! He begins to pull uh, Chetney back up towards the bow of the ship as he swings the scythe to cause this detonation. I question back, because yeah. it's technically Ropey and Bodhi's action. Correct, what are you doing? Can I, can I <laughs> <laughs> Technically, <laughs> it's Ropey and Bodhi's turn right now. Yeah. You're right, my apologies. Please continue. <laughs> this is the best spell, and I'm so glad I took it. Uh, so a 10 year old <laughs> in the bathtub. <laughs> well, technically, it's Ropey and Bodhi's turn. Yeah, right now. Uh, Ropey and Bodhi want a cookie uh, too. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> can I speak back. openly in Shadow Camp in attempt? With an intent to intimidate, I say, I say, listen up, ye cursed kelp. I am the captain of this sea floor. Relinquish my friends, for their souls belong to me. Make an intimidation check. Come on. This is like you an, can intimidate this kelp. This is an anti keyleth moment. <laughs> is form of dread? Do I have? Am I for my dread? Ask it do in I character. Have, don't be a puss. Come on. Do I have advantage on the roll? You do not. The fact that you can even attempt this is <laughs> because of because of the circumstances <laughs> and the speech you've chosen. So this is how I die. What? So <laughs> not advantage, <laughs> but it is possible. But it's possible because I'm speaking in shadow camp. Okay. Oh fuck! Cock, I was cock, cock. I fell in the <laughs> natural one. Oh, come on! That was a no. We'll That's try like the. No try. That's That's like, what did you say? Huh? Oh, he's taking you a little deeper than you had wanted. <laughs> and as you shout this down to the shadow, you you feel the waters get kind of still around it and quiet. And for a minute, you think it works. <laughs> Tendrils reach out and attempt to grab around you. You can make an acrobatics check if you. Athletics, acrobatics against it. It will be acrobatics. Save me, Bodhi. Cocked. Take, take Bodhi rounds on this thing. Yeah, leave Ropey. Fuck, uh, it's take, not take great. Take Bodhi to leave Ropey. Take a lot to leave Bodhi alone. Eight. Eight. No. Natural, natural two for six. Oh, it oh, rolled real bad. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> as, as the tendrils reach out for you, Bodhi goes. And begins to pull upward, and the tendrils wrap around the front of Bodhi, Bodhi, and Bodhi pulls away as the two arms go <laughs> and just slap him away before they <laughs> withdraw back, and Bodhi begins to pull up a bit as Ropey. <laughs> you're, make, you're making me do this! <laughs> pulls. That's not true. Pulls. You named them Bodhi. You're making me do this. I, yeah. I didn't know they were going to talk. <laughs> They don't talk. You just imagine they do. That's really actually what it is. <laughs> this is this is the world in Ladna's head. It does yeah. say objects come to life. Yeah. That is yeah. the first sentence. It does. They come to life. That is so command. open to interpretation. Yeah. 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 It's so much better to imagine you standing on a regular yes. boat with a limp rope in yeah. your hand going like <laughs> As Chetney gets pulled into the boat, now we have FCG and Chetney holding onto the sides of Bodhi. And, um, oh, FCG and, and oh, and Wait, I just thought Ashton is still, down, still down there. The oh yeah, you can't I'm even going nowhere. Yeah. All right, now finishing that go, we're coming up to the two of you. Um, I'm going to go down and get as close as I can to where Ashton is, having seen what happened with Chet's arc. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna grab a hold of a couple tendrils and hit shock and grasp. Nice. Okay. All right. So you reach out and grab the elements of kelp-like matter with the shadow kind of you know, wreathing the sides of them. Uh, go ahead and make an attack. Or is it a saving throw? No, it's an attack. Go for it. It's disadvantage. Jesus. It's underwater. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> really? A disadvantage, you well, say? Is it, a, is it a melee or is it a ranged attack? It's a melee. Grab it. Yeah, it's a yeah. touch. Yeah, so it's disadvantage. It's a 12. It's a 12. That does miss, unfortunately. You try and reach out for it. It doesn't quite matter, unfortunately, as the energy dissipates in the space, but it's going to be very cold. If you try to roll in your tray and you right. miss three times, you die. I did try to roll on my tray. Still still a dreamy state. He's still believing that it's. You don't know. You don't see beautiful. action anyway. I have not. You have not seen anything of me. 
We've seen your body a couple times. Yeah, it's just. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to charm person on Ashton to try to wake him up. You don't not see. Ashton. Never mind. If you want, if you want to try and like uncover him or or uh, swim down mm -hmm. deeper towards the mass, you can do that to maybe possibly get a view, but that's gonna be uh, a, a challenge. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, cool. So you go ahead and swim down and begin to try and push away. I need you to make. Uh, Make an athletics check to see if you can tear away at the mass of now like deeply knotted plant matter. Oh, that was so close to being something good. That's not. It's uh, oh minus two for athletics. Uh, I rolled a three. Minus <laughs> two. <laughs> so oh, 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 oh no, Fern. <laughs> Uh, as you, you swim down and begin yanking and pulling at it, but you you cannot manage to pull it free. It's knotted so tightly. You kind of know where he is, okay. but he's completely encompassed by this this entity. Um, so no no luck there. You still have your bonus action or movement if you want to try and pull away. Um, yes, I will. I will use. Uh, uh, disengage. Can I do that? No. Uh, if you want to. Uh, two note, mm. it, to swim down to it, because it's half movement to swim underwater. The last 15 feet of movement got you there, so you have no other movement beyond you could bonus action to try and swim 15 feet away. Uh, or you can stay for that. I'll, 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 I'll stay. Okay. I'll stay. I need, uh, for those who are further up, which is going to be Chetney, FCG, uh, Laudna, yeah, no, it's just you three. Go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Regular roll. 12. Regular roll, regular, regular roll. roll. Regular roll. Eight points of cold damage. Eight points, oh boy. <laughs> Yee, that's a big one. It's getting close. Seven. Eight points of cold damage. Did not heal 21. Short rest? Four points of cold I did damage. heal some. Okay. Not all. No. For the I rest of you, we make a constitution saving throw for me that are in proximity to this entity. Jesus, these are good rolls. Uh, what are, I'm so sorry. Constitution, Constitution? saving throw. <clears throat> yeah, one. One? Ten points of cold damage. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen. Five points of cold damage. Twenty-four. Five points of cold damage. These are the best rolls I've had. <laughs> Jenny? It's five points right now. What? Oh, no, you already did. Sorry, no, sorry. No, that was the uh, five points. Really five points, yeah. Okay. I was like, you got the first round. Yeah, All right. yeah I rolled a dirty 20. 20. Dirty 20, five points of cold damage. Okay. All righty. So now we're back to the rest of you who are somewhere there. So Orem, Chetney, uh, what do you want to do? Can I want, do I see anybody, any of my friends, if I strain super hard? Oh yeah, you can you can make out now the shapes and there's flashes of energy around. Have I uh, seen Ashton? You do not see Ashton. Also, is there all you see all you see is Fern pulling away at parts yeah. of it before having to like let go, not making much of a, all right. a, a difference. So, down so there. I'm being held, right? I'm mm -hmm. gonna I'm going to slash at what's at the. Plant yeah. matter holding me. Try to, and I'm made a pushing attack. Yeah. And try to break free, and push it back. Uh, so it's a disadvantage, right? Correct. Uh, that's great. That is a 24 to hit. That this is. This is a pushing attack. So that is five plus five is 10. 16 damage, and they have to beat a 17 to not get shoved 15 feet away. No, that's a that's a natural two. Any chance I see it my breaks your grapple. Thank you. And does it, does pushing back plant life? Reveal my friend by any chance? I will allow you in this instant to make a perception roll with disadvantage. Okay, so that's a straight roll for me. That is a that is a twenty-five. Whoa. Twenty-five. I'll say in this moment, you can see just a handful of glimpses of where Ashton is. Okay. I'm very reflective. Uh, I see what I think is Ashton's reflective uh, arm mm -hmm. through the through the dark. And I want to help really bad, and Orm just goes and vanishes from where he is and reappears right where Ashton is in the mess. Mm. And I continue to hack at what's holding Ashton. Go for it. Uh, oh. The rest of you watches as Orm, after cutting himself away, just. What? <clears throat> that's yeah. 23 to hit. So that's uh, 12 points of damage. Points of damage. Has to beat a 17. Uh, that's a natural 17. Yeah. And then that is an 18 to hit. Okay. 11, finally a good hit. 17 points of damage, and it has to be to 17. Uh, no, that's going to fail. So as you do the, the last two cuts, the last one slices through, and you watch as it separates, and you see the back of Ashen now exposed, kind of floating up. And immediately, Ashen, you feel yourself kind of 
the cold begin to seep in, and you don't want it, and you watch as he begins kind of reaching to pull himself back into where he was. Oh, wow. Uh, but I'm out of, a, I'm out of, uh, no, action surge. Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, so it's pulling, uh, he's gonna. No, Ashton's pulling himself back in. He's like reaching out, almost like he just realized he's been pulled out of his, out of the womb, and he wants that warmth again. I'll have to chop off his arms. Uh, I will do a. I can't. I'm out of. I'm out of superiority die. I did everything to get there, um, but I will action surge and try to hit him once to see if it it pulls him out. Okay, go for it. Disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage underwater. Yeah. Uh, that misses. That's a two plus. Uh, was thirteen. So that misses. Swings wide, unfortunately. The next one is a tw- uh, eighteen. That hits. Yes. Yeah, All right. Uh, so that's no extra damage. That's ten points of uh, damage. Ow. So you take ten points of damage. Ow. Slashing. Yes. Yeah. This time. Uh, and then you get to remake your Christmas saving throw. Mm-hmm. No. Come on. I have a negative two to charisma. This is going to be a long gonna walk. Be so uh, that didn't work. All right, I got yep. one more. Go for it. Uh, slash on your disadvantage. Oh. That's a one, which I can reroll. That is a sixteen. Nope. He's and like beginning to crawl his way back down into the abyss yes. beneath him. Okay. And that's the end of it. All right. So that finishes your go. Um, Any ranged shit, but I'll take another swipe. Two swipes of turn oil on the tendrils. Okay. Are you still down there? Are, are you close enough to do the? T- how far do the tendrils reach out? They're aboard the boat. Fern's got something. She's chomping at the bit. Do I bit. still see? Do I, can I see them on all this? I did get. Hmm? You, you, yeah, the, the thing tore open, and now you have a visual all right. on him. I'm going to try to ca- uh, charm person on Ashton. Okay. Ashton, make a wisdom saving throw with advantage. Oh my mm-hmm. God. God dang. Heroes feast. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm like in between. Uh, uh, with disadvantage? Advantage. With advantage. With advantage. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh, it's 23. Shit! <laughs> that was a worthy shot. The other one was a natural one. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Heroes feast. Worst spell. It is. <laughs> because we took a short rest, I got both. Channel divinities back. So, can I attempt to turn undead again? Come on. Yes, you Come may. on. All right. So, change bringer, please. I really need you. I'm gonna flip the coin underwater. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and catch it. <laughs> you flip it. And it goes, I am not doing great. I mean, it's the sink down. You go to reach for it, and you're not fast enough. It slips from your grasp, and as the coin drops, it stops. Yeah. As it emanates outward yeah, from the exactly. coin, uh, that's yeah. going to be a fourteen. It's a sixteen. It's a sixteen. Yeah. As it pulls out, the shadow tendrils all scatter in that radius. As they do, you watch the plant life pull back, and you have, for a brief moment, uh, a terrifying view of the underwater graveyard of the many, many people that have been lured here to their cursed demise. Try to grab Ashton and pull him out? It's not It's not a, a CR of two or lower, is it? It is not. Damn it. <laughs> um, but Ashton, in this instance, you get to roll your saving throw with advantage because you were, <laughs> you literally turned it for the time being. Natural 20, natural 20, natural 20. God, that would be really nice, wouldn't it? Let's go. Uh, with advantage? Yes. Natural 20. Yes! Yay! Oh. 18. With it, wait. Wait, 18, what do you mean? Minus? I have a negative two. Oh, but it's still a natural 20. Still a natty. Oh, yeah, it's natural 20, yeah. Minus two is still 18, that still succeeds. Oh, You God. suddenly, as you're reaching for this, as you watch it scatter out of your hand, <laughs> and you're, what am I doing? Get oh, no. Yes. Fuck, I am, I see exactly what's below me. Yeah. Fuck, I'm booking. Good God. Okay. You know who else is getting out of here fast? No. <laughs> She's been turned. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, so you're running up full speed. Yeah. Are you taking Bodhi with you? About face to the Arctic. I'm on the boat. I'm on the boat with her. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so explain to me how you're turned in fear from FCG. 
What do you do to get away? I mean, I feel like I would do that and be like, oh, Surface Bodie! <laughs> Only on cabin! <laughs> a boat pulls up. Emergency uh, blow! <laughs> Ropey's like, Oh, what's wrong, mistress? Um, <laughs> as Bodie's pulling up, you look back and, and this burning divine light behind you is still chasing you. It's clasped in the back of the boat. <laughs> it's, it's coming from inside the boat! <laughs> Wait, so who all do I have with her? me? If you hit her, you have Chutney you... and FCG. I do have Chutney and FCG. Will she get the bends? I think huh? so, it breaks it if you get hit, right? It breaks the effect? I don't think so. I don't know. You need oxygen in your blood to get the bends. <laughs> the, the temperature of the water the, f the freezing aspect of it yeah, begins to slowly subside as you all begin to like swim back away, and the shadow completely recoils, very much just revealing the 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 silt and bones. It's all kind of clouded up from the movement, and the like, like it's sources. yeah. yeah. Oh. the The bottom of the water now has become extremely cloudy as the boat pulls away, and all the various action has caused all the the, the water to just kick up all this dust and black, and as it kind of fills the space. Encompassing all the remains of what's there, you can just see the little bits of kelp-like uh, plant life that's just kind of drifting up there as you slowly swim your way back up to the surface. Minute. Run, go, run, run. Where's Lana going? <laughs> She's trying to get Can we, can we, head, can we, we head directly to the portal? Can we just go to the fucking portal right no. now? Don't you want to rest? Yeah, just, just leave. leave. To sleep on the other side of this fucking just yeah. In, yeah. in another universe, it's like sure. another yeah. planet. I, I want to go to another uh, planet. I told them. No, but I didn't. They, they're gonna come and then they're gonna sleep here and then they're gonna get sucked into the. Oh shit! I should at least warn them. Should we leave a note? <laughs> yes. Yeah. How so, long does animate object last? Oh, that's a good question. Can like, if we go back up, can we use it to come back down? Hi, I'm blood to ship. Thanks for coming to this village. There's a fucking dead thing down here. <laughs> Wanna come see? Where are you going? My mistress told me to wait and talk to you all. I what should I do, Terry? It lasts for one oh. minute. Oh no, it's been. It's oh, gonna no. Has it been a minute? It's, it's be about episode. now. That. No, we need no. Ropey to come with us. <laughs> the, boat, the boat breaches the surface. <laughs> it's on. As you all get up there, the ro Ropey goes. It's been a pleasure. I clamor to the front of the ship and I go, Bodie, Bodie, you used to be with me. No, but it's taking on water because it wasn't meant oh, to stay wow. afloat for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. Thank God, Bodie. <laughs> What's wrong with Lana? <laughs> <laughs> You're asking this now. Yeah, Whatever, cool. y'all back up at the top. Yeah, well, you, you all eventually get back to the the shoreline by the village. Okay. Where that whole fiasco? How close to our exit point from the portal did it happen? Uh, this is kind of close. The, the The center of this entity is closer yeah. to where the village is. Okay. The portal that you guys have is a little further out of the lake, probably about 60 or so, 70 feet from where it is. Okay. Um, so there's a little bit of a berth, but you also, you know, were drawn from deep in the village. Yes, so. yes. Fun. Mm. Good job. Good job. <sighs> oh, that was scary. Oh, thanks. Yeah, just walking right in. Thanks, ladies. Why can't it speak to some of you and not all of us? Yeah, that's true. It only goes after the strong ones. No. Oh. Mm. I don't think mm. that's what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we're not in sync with the three of you, like you three are. Oh, that's true. Oh, mm. that's right, we are synced that's up. True. That's true, I didn't true. get any of the ladies. You wishes. Well. Well, now what? We definitely don't stay here. No. Um, Wait for it to get stronger, maybe just Leave a note for anybody that comes yeah, we, this way. We, should leave a we note. just made I don't contact. Have any more spells. We made contact with our, with our friends. Yeah, but we before. also told them that we were going to be going. Back. Does, it, does the stone work anymore? Uh, no, not till tomorrow. Shit. Well, should we leave a? We can leave a message. Where are they gonna see? Yeah. We'll write it on the dock. Carve it into the dock. No problem. Oh. Ah! 
<laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> yeah, just carving big ass letters on uh, on like the, the the porch of the general store. Okay. What what are you writing? Beware! That's it. Dead <laughs> shit down there. <laughs> With a picture of Ladna riding a boat with a rope sidekick going down <laughs> underneath the lake. Very clear. It's very artistic. <laughs> it's just a pile like, of skeletons at the bottom of the lake. Don't listen to the voices. Boy. There's a, or there's something. a creature that wants to eat you at the bottom of the lake. That's so boring. Oh, yeah, I got this. Uh, yes. <laughs> the most boring. <laughs> don't sleep here. I'm trying to think. What's this? A skull. Oh. Yeah, put that's that on the dog. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, wait. Don't listen. Or, how about. We can leave a message just saying, ask this skull what, what, what's here. That's reasonable. Because the, they can do talk to dead and the Who? skull will tell them. You could say like he came from I below. I assume Keyleth is Keyleth coming. can probably speak to dead people, can she? right? I don't know. I've never seen her do that. Oh. I've, but I don't watch her, didn't watch her Maybe 24-7. Like if, you go in, if you listen to the voices, this is gonna happen to you in the water. Well, I, I found all those papers that Totally yeah, yeah. just leave I'll, I'll leave the papers with the skull on top, like a little paper wig. You can also like, just write and you got a paper. Right. Yeah. Right but it's it's fun to carve it in the dock. Yeah. Mm. Read yeah. this. <laughs> beware, beware. That's fun. That's Dead good. gnomes make no toys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going back through the portal. Oh my god. Yeah, let's do it. So how are we going to get oh, back to yes. it? Do we have to swim? Yeah. The we whole have, lake? You know no, this lake is... Yeah. 200 feet. 200 feet? From the shoreline. We got out of it. It oh, was from the shore, but the the the, the, yeah. the town was on the far side yeah. of the so lake. It's a, it's a bit of a distance to get there. You can walk around and then swim out to it if you want to. <sighs> it feels like we've been awake for 76 hours. Yes, yes it does. Yes. Okay. I'm so tired. Keyleth did say we're running short on time. <sighs> Exactly. Maybe we just swim, we get out there, but we know that sleep is on the other side of us. <laughs> for That's sure. What we thought it was. If we yeah, sleep yeah. for like four more hours, will we finish our long rest? I'll allow it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, you know, we could leave messages, but if we wait for them to show up, we could info dump everything face to face. Days. No, it could. Are they coming I told now? Them, I told them we were going back in. We should go back in. We should also leave a marker where the portal is, so they know. Oh yeah, can we draw a map or something? Let's draw a map on one of these pieces of paper. You can also carve a map into the. Dock. No, don't do that. Because what if one of the bad guys shows up? Mm. Oh, fuck. What if we? It's fine. Why would one of the bad guys come here? Because reasons. I am so tired. What, oh. if, what if we camp out either? through the portal or here, wake up in the morning, ring the Tempest, see if they plan to come imminently, and then we can show them the way through. We can talk out everything that we found out so far and then head back in. Or you just leave a note. Let's head to the portal. We got all this stuff. Let's head to the portal and go to sleep and then none of us are thinking clearly right now. Mm. Let's get some, some more sleep. I think that's and then we can figure it out in the morning mm -hmm. and come back through. Yeah. And also, like we were able to to, to get out of that thing, so I'm obviously sure, you know, they'd, they'd, be able they'd be fine. To. The tempest is yeah. She so can strong. transform into yeah. whatever she wants. Yeah, she could probably wipe that thing out no problem. Or she could be like a kraken and just it's probably right. I don't It'll know. Be okay. Not true. I mean, I'm not worried about. I think they'd be fine with what's under this lake. I'm just but talking she about. She did say she wasn't gonna. She said she was sending a group. Sharing, not her. I'm sharing thinking about sharing information, not 25 <clears throat> words at a time. Right. Mm -hmm. I just don't think she was planning to come herself just yet. Mm. What should we use as a marker? Like a come down here. You have a ribbon. Yeah. You're gonna tie a ribbon un under underwater? Is that right? We're gonna tie a ribbon to a tree. And 
right on the shoreline. Okay. And then draw an arrow. Great. Yeah. Done. Okay. Done. You set up Yield a few signs. Ribbon rope. Yeah. A few various signs to denote the part of the lake that will go ahead and lead in the direction that yeah. you intend. After setting that, you're heading into the lake towards the portal? Yes. Okay. Uh, delving in the temperature of the water, while still cold, is nowhere near the freezing temperature it was when you previously entered. And as you begin to delve into the shadow below, lights you know, before you by various spellcraft, um, you feel the the oppressive presence of the entity not present at the moment. So with that comfort, mm -hmm. you push around until eventually you find uh, the place where you had felt the tug of the stream, and then eventually, one by one, <laughs> pass through into the portal, emerging like a water slide out, <laughs> out of the rock, and eventually having to catch yourself on the edge of the river in the subterranean cavern back and underneath the ground of Rubidus. Click, click, I grab my immovable rod. Mm. Okay. Right. Night. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna just crawl into a corner. Go fetal. Someone doing watch or anything? Or? I'll do watch. No, you already no. took a watch. It's got to be someone that didn't. Shit. Do. You gotta get your sleep. Good night. Okay, a, bye. Good night. I'll take a watch. Just keep, keep make make. I don't think. Pate watch. Mm, he's not good. As bad. <laughs> he's bad. <laughs> he's bad. <laughs> It's a lot of keeping watch? He is. Okay. Oh. I think I can't sleep after the death of Bodhi and Ropey anyway. <laughs> oh. so. And there was a turn that dead. A lot of no. the short I think life that uh, as watch one and two fall asleep, I uh -huh. probably would have candle in the wind. As we're passing around, whispered, Let's see. Why do you think he didn't answer? He's staying. He didn't answer. Maybe he was asleep. Mm -hmm. Pass out. All right. Want to keep watch? Make a perception check for me. You know, but it really makes you think. Just how fleeting life is. <laughs> Came so fast. It went so fast. Just up talking about the thing. 21. Nice. Yeah, well, you know, there's something about the fleeting nature of existence. Consciousness is ever a, a fluid thing, you know? Yeah. One day you're just granted understanding of the world around you and you spend the rest of your days trying to grasp the concepts of what the meaning of it all is and right before you wrap your fingers around it, it's snuffed. I, I'm sure it's very close to your experience, wasn't You kind of just bamped into existence. Yeah, but I'm just a little dead thing, it's okay. No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. No, that was very insightful. Yeah. Do any of us really know what we're doing? <laughs> Go over there. Sorry, you know the whole like, internal rope thing? Just makes gases. <laughs> After he like leaves and I kind of scooch away from the group. Delilah? Yes, dear. Were you there on Ruidus? I never went away. I'm always here with you. I don't know what to do. What's the... What's the end goal of all of this? Am I really just supposed to keep chasing and consuming power wherever I find it? To what end? And will it actually ever be enough? There's only really one reason for power. To protect those you love. And if that fails, vengeance is a pretty decent second goal. But you still have a chance to protect those you do love. The one you love. 
Don't fail as I did. There's still a chance. Is vengeance all that's keeping you around? No. If there's anything I've learned in my time is to never give up. Because if you're willing to give it all away, nothing is impossible. What if I'm just a danger to the ones I love? The one I love. You know she'd probably be better off without me. I know you know that. I don't know if that's true. They're all walking into the most dangerous of lion's dens. And I think you don't give yourself enough credit, you sweet girl. Look what you've endured. Look what you're capable of. Ultimately, the choice is yours, ours. You were gifted with this second chance. Maybe a third chance, maybe a fourth, who knows? <sighs> Life is a strange and intangible thing. And how much power are you gonna be sucking away from me? If I grow ever stronger, so do you. It's a gambit. We're one and the same, Lord Nadir. I don't believe that. You don't have to. Faith for some is strong. I prefer reality. Then help me. Grant me more power. What do I need to do? To grant you power, I need more power. Find what you can and feed us, and I'll give you everything you need to keep her safe. I promise. Promise, promise. I'm not in the business of breaking my word, if a bit careful with how I express them. I have a weird question. Pate. Ashton doesn't like pate because he thinks pate is you are you pate. <laughs> I'm no more pate than you are me. We are bound inexplicably, yes, but we're strange bedfellows. Oh, gods. Ah. Uh. Okay, um, with that, I'm gonna go to bed, I think. Adna, and you feel this like cold presence kind of pull your chin up, and for a moment you can see this ghostly visage of a woman's face with a warm but stern look. Is it Delilah? It is Delilah. We will endure. Visage vanishes. All right. With that, you all complete a long rest. Oh my oh! god! <laughs> you the fun. Yes, confirm. Wrap. Holy shit. I spill all over myself I like a like slab. Ever. Indeed. Ever. 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 Yeah. What a weird uh, <laughs> Oh, our hit points went down. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Back to normal. They were so high Rest. by comparison. Yeah. Full spells, lots. Getting rid of my saving throw proficiencies. Oh. And my uh, defense, my huh? frightened. Yours didn't go down. 
It did go down, but. Okay. All right. As you all awaken in this down. cavern, the nearby sound of rushing water, the still somewhat mysterious and beautiful frozen moment in time, kind of half merged with the surrounding rock of the cavern. What would you like to do? I like it in here. It's better. Let's stay in here for a while. <laughs> Hours, days, months. This is good. This is kind of like your jam, right? Like, this rock is old, this building is old, you're old. I'm not that old. You can't like commune with this stuff, can you? I don't know. Mm. If you had asked me that uh, two weeks ago, who knows what I would have fucking said. Honestly, I want street food out of a cart really badly. I want something greasy and disgusting. Mm. Meat pie. Oh, God. Meat pie. You really good. Fuck. Dark ale. Yeah. Fuck. Stout. If I have to be in the middle of nowhere, this is pretty good. But it feels like, I don't know, I like not having open space. I don't know, I didn't think that was a thing, but it is kind of nice knowing that anything that falls on me, I can reach. Well, we're under and protected, and it's nice, and the greenery is grand, but mm -hmm. we should probably find out where this goes. We should. Yeah. Are you going down, or should we well, go Well, there was a, a climb up past the waterfall. That's true. We could backtrack or we could see. Just go straight up and see if it goes out. Mm -hmm. These tunnels supposedly run to Creveris, right? We're looking I mean, them. maybe. There's there's subterranean tunnels, I think, yeah. all over the, the moon. Maybe it's like a giant anthill, but if it connects, who knows? Up or down? I vote up 100 or 200 feet just to see what's ahead because yeah. we're, we didn't leave completely Architecture and stuff, or have we? I can't remember. Just you've, between games, you, you know, we... you've you've begun to kind of exit the elements of ancient architecture mm -hmm. and reach where the water source was, uh, and there's just kind of a f some cliffs <laughs> that kind of lean up. What looks like a, a a climbable continuation of the cavern in an upward angle. Well, look what being curious got us yesterday. Yeah. Let's stay curious. Yeah. We just got to mark where we're going. That's oh really yeah, we should yeah. Uh, put the markers in here too. Yeah, send them. Let them know yeah. which direction we're we're heading. Yeah. How do we do that? I've got a hammer. Carve it into the rock. Yeah. I mean, I actually have like a rock hammer, not oh, this ridiculous right. thing, but. <laughs> just like an arrow situation. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Or even we don't even need an arrow, just a. Just a little X. Oh wait. Okay. I mean, I have paints. We don't have to or, break shit. Yeah. Actually. This shari symbol is real easy to draw. I've been drawing it for fucking ever. Mm. Just uh, beat me to a punch. Yeah. yeah. Mm, that's yeah, right. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. seldom yeah. differ. I don't want to take anybody's joy, but you know. Give me that other thing to identify. Oh, yeah, here's the other ring. Should we suck the life out of oh. that one ring? Mm -hmm. I can cast. This a ring of protection. <gasps> oh. A tunable item? It is. Anyone got any slots that plus they want? Plus one or plus two? Plus one. Plus one. I've, got, I've got a slot, but. I you want I'm, it? I'm already wearing a ring. Uh, I'm, also I'm also already wearing a ring. <laughs> oh, I am not, and I have a slot. But we'll take it. I'll take it unless one of the no, paper thin casters want one. I've got one. All right. If this know. other ring, though, could potentially trace. I have a pearl of power. I could have just regained a third level spell slot. That's, right. That's also true. Always. Gosh. Always pretty good, though. Still. You did pretty good. Oh, yeah. I remember Don't I had that on. Don't at me. All right, so ring of Don't protection. Don't fucking, Don't at, me. fucking <laughs> at me, okay? I feel like we should maybe funnel this other. You want to suck it in? Ring. I agree. You can only use the vest yeah. once a day. Oh, the, the, uh, yeah. the life alert ring. Yeah, we shouldn't should carry it around. Back. We don't want them to be able to track us. Let's burn that thing. And we're okay with the t tiny tank taking the ring of protection? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's make the tiny tank uh, more tank-like. Okay. Yeah, let's suck up the, 
the power in the little. Who gets? The, who wears the vest? I'll try it if anyone else wants it. I'm curious. Yeah. Sure. I'm down for that. It'll just target you. Okay. Right. All right. So Lana goes ahead and puts the harness on. Uh, you know, it feels kind of loose on you. <laughs> you have to like tighten the edges. I imagine um, an elementary school student on their first roller coaster, like one of the hanging <laughs> yeah. ones. Oh god! Yeah. Just, Where you're like, I'm gonna die. You yeah, yeah. slip yeah. out of that. Are you sure this is okay? <laughs> As you're tightening it on, it kind of like adjusts to your shape magically. It feels like that. Yeah. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it does like sh- adjust magically to your shape after a moment. You're like, oh, okay, that works. Um, you take the silver ring and place it at the edge, and the ring just kind of begins to twirl for, twirl for a minute. The energy begins to encircle it. It doesn't take long. This, this isn't a profound enchantment, but a, you know, a, a decent one uh, of strength. And you watch as the ring just kind of darkens into a, a black band before it <laughs> dissipates away into just an, an odd essence of uh, now defunct <laughs> metal. Let me get the. <laughs> Here. Slap the lilac. She's going to be threatening her yeah. knee. <laughs> Which is bad yes. too. Yes. yes. Uh, MCL. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, your hit point maximum permanently increases by two. Whoa! Ooh. Thank you very That's much. Great. Oh, yes. And so all attack. Is it atta- like a random roll kind of a thing? No, it's based on the level of the enchantment that present. That's present. Cool. Oh, cool. You're like triple your HP there. Well done. And all attack rolls and, <laughs> and all attack rolls and ability checks uh, that that you make have advantage until your next long rest. <gasps> it's attack rolls and ability checks, not saving throws. That's no, you are. Okay. <laughs> I can see why this thing is a problem. That's awesome. That's very cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's. We're gonna have to work hard not to abuse this. Ludinus has nine hundred and ninety-nine hit points. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. But a death save ain't one. Mm. <laughs> all right, let's let's climb. <laughs> all right. As you all gather your materials, pick up from your. Temporary encampment here in the central cavern. I need a group athletics check to make this climb. No problem. Set us off, Orm. We're climbing? Yep. Spider climbing. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, I don't get it. That's an automatic success. Natural 20! (laughs) Auto success, two natural 20s. Six. One. Four. What? What? All right, Ashton, it's up to you. 14. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's a passive. Oh, wow. Oh, that wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. We're winning. All We're still right. wet. Yeah, so it's very slippery. Yeah, it's, it's very slippery. Still soaked. Um, shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> you, it, it takes a little bit of time, but you clamber up along this massive cliff face until eventually it gets to another shelf. Um, this now winds at an upward angle, almost like a, a slight spiral. That backs up and then switch backs into another cliff that you climb up and continue to push on for what feels like like a mile of just odd meandering tunnel that kind of widens in places. There's one element that kind of falls off to the side, and as you kind of look over the side, it's just this open black expanse, this this open void chasm. You're uncertain of how far anything would fall, but you're not in danger of stumbling into it. But it's showing some of the odd cavern networks that all intersect in these spaces below. Can we leave an Ashari symbol yeah. at the climb visible from down below so that if someone arriving where we arrived would go uh, and see a marker Sure, up. easy enough to do. You can chisel out the symbol and paint it up and kind of leave these mm. sigils as you go, as a, a, a place marker. Um, so this sending worked. Sending worked. Should we try to scry on anybody? I can't do that, can I we? can. I think we should. I think I to know what our options what are, yeah. What changed? Yeah, what, it, what, changed. what was it that happened? Because it happened. went to the moon and we, re- and we came back? some sort of like... But, I, but I why ask. would Kayla be able to or do it? Or it's a why distance would... thing. Yeah, but... Or whatever was causing the interference is no longer causing the interference. Yeah, that's what I think that's it is. That's creepy. Because no, there was no static anymore. Because the gate is weakening. I know yeah, that... letters, I think you should try. I, I, could, I could also... Trying to reach out to the god, but I don't. I don't know. Yeah, Pro, I don't know. I would, oh my god! Oh. I would. I would keep it low key for now. But I could try to scry on somebody. Although most of the people, <laughs> it has to be somebody here on Ruidus. Oh, that's easy. And probably right? someone who doesn't have a, a protection ring or something. Check in with Ira. Ira, man. Or Elder yeah, Bard. Ira. Ira. Ira is good. Ira? Ira, yeah. that's actually. Ira. All right, let's just, Ira, want to just see if it works? Sure. Yeah. We should, should we check in on your mom? Were you casting? Scrying? No. Scrying? Okay. 
just to see if it works. Uh, yes, uh, Changebringer, if you can help me, please show me where Ira is right now. <coughs> oh. You focus and concentrate. You sense the distance between you and the Changebringer. You feel like there's an attempt to reach out, but there's like a lattice work of fences kind of keeping you at a distance from really <clears throat> extending your consciousness to this greater consciousness. You see flashes of her in the distance, but she's too far to reach. And as you try and, and beg one more time in your subconscious mind for that clarity, the gate <laughs> closes. The scryon doesn't work up here. We could send and stuff down there, but not up here. We haven't yeah. tried sending up here. Or yeah. wild, yeah. wild idea. Um, up, yeah. Uh, have someone try who is not getting their power from down there. Yeah, but I don't know how to scry. Do you? Also, I. I, I mean, we, I, I could, could try, try to, to send. send. Yeah. We I could do send that to save to you Ira. some of your your strength. Or I could we try could to just call Widowgast again. I don't either, but there's no reason not to do it. Right. Widowgast, we're back on the moon. Okay. The static feedback comes in, and your brain suddenly fills with that sharp oh, pain. Fucking T-Mobile. <laughs> we'll uh, roll a D100 for me. Oh, oh, D100. oh boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Eighty uh, thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Okay. Too much Kramer. Yeah, she's just lost yeah. in the static of whatever. <laughs> yeah. Like the the previous attempts on Exandria, it's a very similar and even like stronger sense here on Ruidus right now. Do I get any kind of pain from it? Uh, on the cusp, but not enough to actually hurt you. Okay. That's not okay. That tracks. That little wolf man. Keeping it up up here. Oh. The whole walk, uh, I believe Imogen and I have been looking for if there's ever a good place to deal with that seed, if there's anything that feels right. Uh, soft earth, um, similar environment as to the one that we found uh, the okay. All Mines burn. Keep an eye out. I mean, most everything here is like hard rock. Yeah, that's sort of mine. Um, nothing that moment. yet kind of <laughs> matches that, but I'll, I'll keep that in mind. As yeah, you we're, go. we're both kind of kind of keeping an eye out. Can you remind us of the geography of where we are again? Mm -hmm. so you, are, you are essentially following this kind of winding tunnel that the further you go, you begin to think, you've been warned, warned of a thing called a bane worm. Yeah. You've had a vision. And this tunnel has a mm. continuously cylindrical, constant width oh. to it that kind oh, of that's... snakes and burrows mm -hmm. through, leaving just elements of crumbled rock and dust in its wake. Um, mm. But it's also a fairly reliable tunnel. Right. Mm. Yeah, we gotta keep going. Does it look like it's been carved by a worm? It looks pretty uniform. <laughs> oh, God. Can I ask, is it? If we walk for 100 or 200 feet, is there ever a little pocket that if the subway was coming, we could leap into the side of, or is it all? I mean, occasionally you find like little gaps, little and alcoves and pockets. You see like smaller parts uh, that resemble that weird geode that you stumbled upon, like yeah. small little clusters of crystal, uh, veins of glass that kind of carve through, like yeah. massive veins of glass here and there as you kind of continue on seeing these patterns. Uh, you know, fused elements of the nearby stone elements from some ancient heated compression. Um, Hopefully, we'll be fine, but we're going to have to run if the train comes. Uh, you continue on for a good another hour or two before the tunnel just comes to an end. Oh. Like a, uh, a collapse or a, a fallen element. There is just a, an end to it. <clears throat> have we been rising steadily, or have we just been staying? Kind of hard to tell. <laughs> oh, dude, that sucks. The collapsed rock. Can we just uh, fruitlessly try to move some of the rock and see how horrible it is, or is Gently. it just absolutely dead? Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty compacted. 
it's not, it's not solid stone, but it looks like boulders and shit. Yeah, whatever has come through here has fallen. In. So the question is, how badly do we want to keep going this way, or do we want to walk backwards? I don't even think it's an option to go this way. It's right? an option, possibly. But how much is? Well, if there was a way to see what was on the other side of the collapse, she that might influence. Somebody could fuse with rock or go through it. Yeah. Do a little earth glidey situation. I could. Yeah. But boy, reason? that's a that's a lot. If anything, this is the time to do it. We're trapped under We're hundreds of feet of hour stone and a half in a tunnel that's dead end. I, I mean, on. I can also try as well. To no, I mean, this is. I mean, no, we need somebody who's not had their ass kicked. I'm just putting it out there. Or you could, you could dig. You could turn and into a dig. creature I that could, could dig. I could dig. Well, let's see if we need yeah. it first. Yeah, we can work okay. together. And we'll do it. We need we'll <laughs> show off, this? baby. Yeah, okay. Fuck. <sighs> Fucking going for it. I am uh, activating the shard of Kamort. I'm just gonna lean down, my hands on the earth, and just start to shake and vibrate and slowly change shape. Bigger, spikier, everything just sort of becomes odd and off. Watches Ashton's form begins to swell, and bits of jagged rock kind of begin to bulk out of parts of his torso. Um, while you are focused on connecting to the landscape around you, you watch as Ashton grows in size. Um, elements of his body beginning to uh, to widen with more protruding bits of rock and crystal, to where, in some ways, he looks like. Ashton plus earth elemental almost. Like there's uh, a, a an exaggeration to his size and form. They now, uh, as the transformation eventually slows and comes to a stop, just glancing, kneeling down is about six feet tall. Whoa. Whoa. And that rock arm on the side is now a massive claw-like Protrusion. Oh shit, that's pretty powerful. Why'd you waste it doing this, Ashton? <laughs> I turn and fall right into the wall and vanish. <laughs> he glides into it. And Ashton, as you like tumble into the stone, your consciousness kind of connects with the nearby rock and stone, and you sense in the vicinity there are a number of small and large tunnels and caverns that are all burrowed and reburrowed and recollapsed and moved, and you sense that you're not far from the surface. Ooh. How cool is that shit? <laughs> He's just gone now. Really fucking cool. Yeah. Double checking as I round about, I'm just curious if this is just a base collapse or no. Uh, it looks like the, the tunnel that was beyond it, it's heavily collapsed for about 300 feet or so. Mm. But that's because the surface collapsed in on it. Okay, so and I can hold my breath down here for a little while, for a moment or two. Yeah, for as yeah, long as you can hold your breath anywhere else. Yeah, and I'm great. In that case, I'm just going to shoot straight up and see how far we are from the. I'm okay. just going to fly straight up. You emerge from the top and kind of <laughs> land immediately. The dust of the storm hits you as you stop, but it kind of just hits your surface and glides off. You feel unaffected by it. Your eyes themselves now, like. Glass barrier against the storm. Um, as you're just being battered without issue from the storm, you can see now you are indeed kind of a straight shot in the middle of a of a, uh, a low valley that curves upward and out of your visual range before the rest of the dust storm. Takes so there is some cover that we can get to from here. Yeah. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Fall backward and head straight back down. <sighs> Eventually, out of the ceiling, a couple of rocks. What's that? <laughs> Ashen <laughs> lands, like three point lands in the middle of the tunnel where you are. It's great. <laughs> That's great. Do you have any grease AC in that form? Oh, yeah. I throw my chisel at it. Re reaction. Yeah. I ain't gonna move. <laughs> Roll for attack. Ding, ding, ding. 24? Ooh. That hits. Oh, it does? How much did you see? 19. Oh, it went up a couple, okay. But if you, you're welcome to throw it. It'll, it'll stick in. 11 points of stabby dip. Damn. Okay. Uh, hold on. 
Dad, what are you doing? Uh, I didn't know it was Look how big it is. Wait, you're not my dad. Uh, <laughs> are you sure? It is. It's dingus. Perfect. Um, I will take that damage. Uh, you threw one of your, uh, what'd you throw? One of my little chisels. One of your little chisels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the chisel and uh, uh, I'm just gonna throw it at the wall and try and embed it like a thrown knife. Okay. And I assume I can use, a, that's a strength. Uh, yeah, just roll with so. strength oh, and proficiency. Oh, so, fucking um, Matt Mercer over here. Strength and proficiency. <laughs> <laughs> and I, can, I can do a. I can. I can get advantage on that. Rage, right? I can just go for that or... Sure, I'll allow it. Right, Throwing I'm a dagger just... at a wall. Yeah, yeah. I'll, in this form too. It's. Uh, uh, so that's. Uh... 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. What? So you roll a thirty-five to throw your chisel into the stone wall. Whoa. You just watch it. There's a there's a, a cloud of dust that settles, and you just see a hole. Whoa. <laughs> the chisel's approximately six inches embedded into the stone. Oh. Into him? No, oh, he threw it wall. into the wall. Oh. Do we want to go up, <laughs> or do we want to stay below? Up. I think we should. Oh. First of all, that voice under, is awesome. Under, yeah, that's really great. Um, underground, probably as long as we can. Oh, okay. Doesn't that make sense? I mean, can you burrow? Can you make a hole? We'd have to go back, but I can go up. Oh, well, I, I just thought you could make a hole like one of them worms. It's not much this way. How I don't long, know why it's that you, hard. How long can you do it for? About an hour. Also, which is Ashton's entire form, including his head grow, or is his head normal size? Like there's a mech around it, like <laughs> no, stone. No, I'd, I'd say he proportionally grows a little more, but you uh, can you can take it. To what I, I'm very, I'm very much. It's like somewhere between. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of like the weird electric alien from New Mutants, uh, um, um, and like a little bit of Groot. It's just kind of this big. There's just. It's it's like I've just like sat still for too long and just rock has you know in like a salt art. deposit and we it's just got need bigger art. and bigger. I feel like we should get out of the stone. Yeah. All right, yeah. Then let's right. go up. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And if within that hour a storm comes, maybe you can just bang a hole in the ground and we can come back down. Yeah, we'll figure out the right. Bainorn problem later. Back up, and I'm going to just start. <sighs> Physically digging straight at it, like at a quarter angle above above the break in this tunnel. Okay, using your massive arm, you just start like <laughs> digging and tearing through, taking the hammer and beating and breaking rock that doesn't seem to want to res to, to to budge in that process, and in doing so, making it easier to scoop away. It takes not long with your strength and your help, kind of pulling it away, um, but eventually you end up finding a bit of rock that you feel shift and move where you know a collapse is imminent, and instead you just. Smash it outward, and you watch as three large rocks just boof, dart up, and the dust storm overhead is now visible as the the reddish sky and atmosphere of Ruidus is now exposed for you once more. Did we leave clear passage from the worm tunnel up to surface? I, I, mean, I imagine some, you probably have been. Yeah. Follow after us. Okay. yeah, it's a smaller I mean, kind of. So you have to like push it to the side and kind of, you know, separate it as you go. Right. No, I was fencing. Like it's Lincoln. <laughs> 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 Maestro, Dang come on! Ah. I just started helping everybody out of the out of the uh, tunnel. What's it like where we are on the surface? I mean, it's the it is a dust storm currently blowing through. It's not the harshest of dust storms. It's just more of like a an inconvenient one, but also it obscures vision. Um, so it has its benefits and its penalties. So we can't see the starry dome. No. Nope. Can I feel? Can I sense where the that? Hole had been coming from as far as the city that. If you want to try and reach out, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't. It'll lead it ping? Dota Han <laughs> to us. Ooh, Wait, look at this trashy what scribble. Wanna, what do you want to try to do? To try to just figure out where the, city, out where the city was. But that can uh, have draw don't do it. How far is the valley wall? Don't do it. I'll say, how about this? Go ahead and roll and make a charisma check for me. This is to. Kind of center that that thread you've already connected with. Can I assist in any way? 
Unfortunately, no. This is this is actually. You know what? As a ruin is born that is connected. Yes, I'll allow you to do that. Do you get advantage? You would. I'm helping. Since you two are directly connected to this. Okay, twenty. Twenty, indeed. You're so special. You you kind of take a moment between the two of you focusing. uh, You sense the direction where you are. Where from? It's a little bit to the left. That way, you're pretty certain. I think it's that way. I'm pretty certain. No, he pointed over here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have a question, though. I, I feel like we need some sort of understanding or agreement of when it is time to get the fuck out of Dodge. We don't have our hero's feast. We don't have our misty form. Did you do? Do we have teleport now? We do. Do we have them? But it's got a little bit of a risk. Oh, you only got enough. But in, it's a small risk. You only got enough what? I have enough charges on the staff of the Dark Odyssey to teleport us out of here. Yeah. But there's a small but. chance that the staff will disappear in the process. So you've got one more shot every time from now on? Like no, it? like, I have just enough charges to use to get us out of here. But when you use all the charges of the staff, there's a chance that the staff will just disappear and never come back again. But at least we would be where we would need to be. We could but use it for just sure. More staff. Yeah. So, yeah. And if we're teleporting out, we would teleport back to the cave. The cave. Yeah. yeah. So we'll yeah. be. We can. We we'll be fine. All right. But I just. I don't think we leave till we want to take care friends. of our staff. That's all. I would take care of our staff. I'm what was that, Ash? We don't leave till we find friends. I know, but I also don't want to leave with us separated either. So if anything happens and it seems like, I mean, you all almost got captured mm-hmm. yesterday. We got lucky yesterday, but if that happens again. You might not get lucky again. We also all almost died back home yesterday. It's, it's dangerous up here. I know. You know, this is what we're here for, right? Changebringer's looking after us, we'll be fine. I know, but just remember this, this is just to better bolster our fight on another day. We need everybody together. Sure. So our goals, find the Friends of the Volition, Mm -hmm. if we can. Yeah, the rebel group. Yeah. Our mind shieldy scroll has worn off too, right? Oh yeah, they're gonna be able to figure out where we are. But we have two of those, right? Do we? We do. We have two of them, we used one, so we, we should, should use another one for one. sure, right yeah. now. Yes. Yeah. It lasts for what, eight hours? Yeah, mm-hmm. let's do it right let's now. Let's do it ASAP. So we have eight hours. Great. They might have yeah. sensed us this whole morning, though. We didn't have it back up. We were until this they moment. Had never been, though. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. How'd they get there? It doesn't matter. We're about to vanish. Put and do it. Let's put it up. Do it yes. now. Yeah. Yeah. Who, Who has, has it? Scroll? Oh shit! Oh. We left it at home. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I had it. I'm pretty sure you had this. Scroll. Okay. Uh, one of you had it at least. Go on. Uh, read it out loud. <laughs> and the way that it rhymes too. Solid. All right. The scroll itself. <laughs> Dissipates, and you feel the magical encasement of the protective magic take hold within each of your minds. Phew. Woo. <laughs> so we're just on foot now. Yeah. Wow. No one can fly us, or I, I can fly some of us. I mean, I can give us pass without a trace as well. I don't so think we need to waste that yet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I guess we just walk. Let's get um, walking. Should I leave a, a message to let? The people following behind us know what's going on. I think Caleb was going to send a team. No, what think kind of message, far. though? You mean leave something it here out. or try yeah. to reach out? That's no, not like leave work. something here. Through the dust storms. Mm-hmm. Like a, a magical message. I can leave a, a, a message that will trigger when they get to this point to, to point them in the direction of. When they Cerveris, specifically or anybody. We it would be I can I can trigger it based on something specific, um, I but I don't know how specific far. I can get. Oh, I don't think we want them to come this far. We want to yeah. get in there, see what we can see, and get out. We don't want to whole babysit a whole bunch of 
random soldiers who show up behind us, do we? I don't think so, but I don't know what Keyleth is sending. Or you can just leave it. I'll just leave it. Do it. I'm just gonna leave a message. Okay. Um. And I'm gonna make the trigger. It, can I make it if an ally walks by? Is that somebody that's friendly to us, or is that something that? Yes, yeah, you can make it like an, an, okay. someone who who is an ally to your cause. Great. Um. Uh. Great. I'll leave. Uh, what do I have? Oh, I have a mind egg. Great. I'll put that down, and I'll cast. <laughs> A mind egg? <laughs> the online sperm egg. Almost that's the other thing we have to do. If we do it. Oh, a promise. Um, what do I have? I don't have any like little things. I took I took stones from the shoreline, but I don't want to use it because we need it for teleport. Wait, you just need an object? What, yeah, what just to cast this fucking spell. Are there stones uh, Just a piece of dirt. Us? Is there a, a rock stuff? around, or is this one? I mean, I mean, I mean there are the chunks of rock that you Great. hammered out. Yeah. I'm just gonna. And I'm going to cast yeah. a spell. I have a black uh, negligee. <laughs> I have a Dumon memorial coin. No, I have not carving a wait, wait, wait. Wait. from a sky wrath. Wait. I have the remains of the um, seed sent to me from oh, Keyleth. Yeah. She would recognize it. Yeah. It's like a, like a dried husk. Now. Yeah. And an Ashari yeah. would recognize it. But others, maybe not. All right. Yeah, so if we could just leave it, it would stand out a little here in the hole. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ow! Hey, you're good with direction. That way, what's that, like, latitude and longitude? <laughs> say what? How would I let people know? If I put this rock here, I would say head due north. Head due... What's the message? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How does the magic you? work? I'm going to say to this little husk, hey, we are going towards Creveris. The direction is due north, <laughs> slightly left. So you're pointing towards <laughs> there. something. That's where Creveris is. There a hill, a ridge, a landmark, an anything? We did just dig a in hole. In the direction that Imogen points? Uh, or is it just I'll, wide open? I'll say, I'll say there is a, a, yeah, I'll say with, with the time you've taken to converse about this, the storm has loosened up a little bit. And you can see the shadow of a mountain range in the distance. Head toward the mountain horizon. range. There you go. All right. Hope you find this. We're heading to Caveras. What? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> head okay. towards the mountain range. I don't know where exactly we're going, but I think it's that direction. All right. Over. <laughs> Ten four. Ten four. <laughs> Temp is one nine. <laughs> Heading to Creveras. Okay. All right, we're walking. All right. Now on foot through the remnants of this light wind and dust, but you cover your face with what you have and continue onward. Um, now you gain quite a bit quickly in that misted form, so it would have been like a one hundred days travel is a bit shorter. Uh, but we do get to roll for the next few hours. So who wants to go ahead and roll the next d20? Oh, oh, you were last, right? Ash, go. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, I was like, hmm? mm-hmm. uh, 17. 17. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> the storm continues to blow, but there's a moment where all of you just stop. You feel this vibration in the air, this odd kind of energy, like a buzz that just kind of encompasses all the space around you. You feel your your stomach begin to drop, like there's a, a an anticipatory butterfly-like feeling in your stomach. And faster than you can process it, the entire ground around you begins to brighten. Every stone and rock just begins to burn like a colder ember till you have to close your eyes. It's too bright, it burns your vision. The entirety of the surface of the moon around you becomes incandescent with red light. The storm seems to instantly stop. 
It's a, it's a flare. Is that a flare? Yeah, it's a flare. Now, the five of you kind of shield your eyes. It's too intense to hold, and you just kind of feel that energy kind of pass through and beyond. The two of you drop into a brief state of euphoria. Suddenly, your vision goes white, not unlike a few moments in your life when you felt that power flash within you. You feel like you've been around forever for a moment, a timeless essence that is only experiencing a blip. And then it's gone and passed through you. You don't see the light anymore, but you feel like you felt it pass through you and up into the endless expanse. The rest of you kind of wait for your vision to return, and you look over and see Fern, that red energy just drifting around her, her hair kind of floating, and you don't see Imogen. Huh? Until you look up, and about 20 feet in the air, she stands there, eyes white, hair glowing bright pink red, all the intricate veins of energy across her body now just brightly glowing, and you can see clusters of rock and stone around have lifted up with her and just kind of hold slowly rotating aloft. Oh. As you come to, you realize your feet are off the ground, and slowly the energy begins to subside, and you drift back down to the surface, the stones dropping around. We're both all right. That was fun. <laughs> I felt, that felt amazing. <laughs> Are you all right? Are you all all right? Are you guys all right? <laughs> wow. It was really bright. You guys seem way better than just all right. Look at that smile. You both gained 15 temporary hit points. <laughs> how many? How many? 15? No. 115? No. 15. no. 15. Mark it down. 15. That's almost as much as Grog. 15 temporary hit points. How hard are you? 15. Wow. Did you, did you see anything? Did you, what happened? Did you feel the others? Oh yeah. No, did I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel anything, but. There was nothing. Just felt whole. Yeah, you know? it feels really peaceful. What yes. are those flares then? They they lock people into Pradathos, or they reward people? While they're talking, does the soil feel different? Like if we touch it with our bare fingers afterwards? Mm. There is a fading warmth to it. Weird. We should keep moving. You should try rock sliding through that sometime. I drop right down into it, like don't even, there's not even a moment. You do, you, you feel like, like it's, a, it's so faint, but there, there was a, a shift in temperature when that flare took off. Next time, gadget. And it's just fading back to its yes. natural state. I move towards the direction we were walking under the, the ground. Like a, like a stone shark, Ashton kind of <laughs> carves <laughs> through the ground, just barely visible. Stone shark. You all continue to trek along. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on, the thought comes across your mind as the euphoria drifts away that the benefits that you gain aren't just your own to gain as well. Wait, what? The rest that are like you're getting the same boons. Yeah. They're cycling the network, they're revving the engine. Yeah. Everybody's getting more powerful with every one of those flares. Benefits you'll get. And they've been doing it more and more, mm. huh? It's temporary hit points, right? Yes, but I wonder if, if we double on top of them if they'll keep building. Mm. How close are we to the end of the hour? Uh, I'd say finishing this leg of the journey, mm -hmm. uh, especially with your help kind of guiding them along, eventually it does subside and you feel your form transition to its natural state. I go crystalline for a couple seconds and, and then I become myself again, and I do not look good, and I'm just on the ground for a minute. Oh, that's right. No, because you come out ragged on the end, exhausted. Yeah. Oh. I'm not good. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's 
I'll go over and help him out. Thank, thank you. Do you need something to eat or to drink? No, no, I'm fine. Just hurts. And I'm going to get up. I am, what's your walking speed? 30, I think. Yeah. Okay. I am at 20 walking speed. Oh, no. Oh, you want to ride? <clears throat> or. Ooh. I don't know. It's worth figuring out. Maybe, Fernie, you could go uh, beast, beast mode. And... Oh, yeah, and carry you. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm going to do? <clears throat> Give me a second. Is it like that for. For a while now, or just for an um, hour? Or? Two points of exhaustion. Oh, shit. Two points of exhaustion. You guys didn't want to turn around. No, it made sense to do it. Uh, so two yeah. two fucking days of this shit. Oof. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you are, like, is there a spell or anything that can? Greater do? Restoration. I, I could do that. Can do Greater Restoration? Yeah, let me see where sure? what level it is. Is it four? Might be fifth. We're still walking when we're having a Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has so. um, a high cost. Well, someone wants to roll for the next hour for me. Yeah, not me. Uh, that's you know what? I'm going to turn into a. Let's see. Come on, Weathers. Yeah. Oh, I cursed it. I'm going to turn into a ten. big dire wolf. Ooh. Okay. Um, a ten? Ten. Ten, okay. The heavier storm begins to push in once more. Uh, begins to obscure your vision and making it hard to keep tabs on the direction, if not for Imogen, still kind of riding the wave of the flare, continuing to focus on that path. Wrapping up your face best you can, you all push into the storm. Uh, this one, you can hear the cracking of thunder in the distance as bright purple lightning occasionally sparks through above, and each time it crashes by, you feel that kind of tingle almost match through your body with each distant crack. Um, the hour continues uneventful, aside from the storm itself, just kind of slowly, slowing your trek slightly. Eventually, as the storm begins to pass, and your vision begins to peek out, you can see the mountain range that was so distant before is much closer. And there, on the outskirts of what looks like a kind of carved valley in the middle of it, you can see the faintest view of a skyline of pointed towers among clustered buildings, detailless at this distance, but a real sign of civilization here on Ruinous, and the destination you're on the cusp of reaching. That's what we'll go ahead and end tonight's oh, episode. Oh, we are almost there, baby. We're picking up at the arrival of Craviris next time. Oh, Do a full frontal assault, kill everybody <laughs> in the city. Yeah, we're good. We're Ride powerful. this Pradathos planet worm. I got him. Two on points attack. of exhaustion. That's rough. Yeah. It was yeah. worth it too. It was so worth it. Worth it. We would have wasted so much time back. Yeah, no. I'm happy. I'm happy to just also just. I mean. Out of character. I'm just happy to just Are you stretch to... those legs. Yeah. I think so. I, I have 500 gold worth of diamond dust, so I can use let's, some of it. Yeah, let's. You can say right now if you want to use it at this point, and we can just sure. go into the next episode without. Well, we can. Worry about I, I was going to say, like, let's well, save that. I want to milk it. Don't. Well, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I want your sympathy. Really sympathy. If, you, yeah. if, you, if you use it right now, and I have to use it, like, yeah, it's it. Does it wipe everything? It just loses fifth level spell. And no, I mean, like, does it kill all my exhaustion? Or One no? point of exhaustion, I believe. Okay. So that's better than nothing. Yeah, that is yeah. better than, that's at yeah. least walkable, but. Well, maybe today we won't be fighting anything. We'll just be yeah, talking, yeah. and then, you sure. know, we'll just go I'm to bed, kidding. and then we'll be talking. Yeah. If, 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 shit, if shit's yeah. about to go down, I think it's a good idea, but otherwise, that that's very useful. You sure. how long have we been running. walking since? Uh, this is, right I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm putting it about. Well, since you emerged from the tunnel, it's been two hours. Since you woke up this morning, it's also, I'd say, probably been uh, about an hour of snaking through that tunnel. And so it's been about. I'm just concerned about the mine shield. Okay, cool. Understood. We cool. So yeah, two hours since the mine shield was put up. So you have six more hours of that. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. Six more hours. And if they looked for us, 
at all. Yeah, they might. Yeah, but be. they don't know where we are now. We're fine. We'll figure it out. They next definitely time. don't know we're making our way from the hole to the no, Yeah, they the put a pin where they <laughs> spotted us if they uh-huh. did, and a pin on the city <laughs> yeah. and look between those two pins. Yep, yep, yep. Well, we'll pick it up next time, won't we? Thank you all for joining us. I think it's a good look. It really is a good look. See you all next time. Mm. We love you very much, and is it Thursday? Oh, I didn't even know we were still on.